What's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to Table Story Sector 49. How's it going? How's oh, it's it? so weird that there's Jay there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I, didn't I send you the MI Asian? What? What do you think that's for? I found it. You remember the MI Asian? I used to put. No? Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, you sent that. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's what it's for. I don't know. I'm not going to put that in there. Right. <laughs> That's better. Look at Jay's Why face. I mean, it he... looks weird because it looks like he's about to move at any second. I know. Because it's legit. It's, it's going to trigger bad. everybody so hard. And I mean, I figure that's what you'd like Bravo. to do anyway. <gasps> That'd be better. I was going to do Johnny Bravo. I literally had that open and I was like, eh, let's just do Jay. <laughs> One of those like hyper realistic Johnny Bravo images. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now I have to Google it. <laughs> sure, I'll do it together, right? Realistic Johnny. All right, everyone find a realistic Johnny Bravo and tweet it at Jay. Oh, I found a realistic Bart Simpson. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, God. Oh. It can't be as bad as the live oh. action Sonic. It's so bad. It's so bad. Basing it in the chat in Discord. <laughs> 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 How's it going, everybody? Hi. Is everybody ready for some Judge oh, Dread yeah. today? I Every became so distracted by Googling realistic. <laughs> are we all tweeting him? Are we actually all tweeting him? Because I can do that. Everyone should tweet him. What is his Twitter, though? Because it's not Brotato. It's Jay Brotato. You don't even know Jay's Twitter, Brad. <laughs> Why would I know Jay's Twitter? I hate him. I'm so glad he's not here. Um, everyone tweet an image, any image, at jbrotato. Is that right? Yeah, that is correct, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and this counts for anyone watching in five years on yeah. the pod, by the way. on the <laughs> YouTube. Keep yeah. sending him it forever. forever. Just, it could be every, anything. Every time it happens... It could be anything. <laughs> anything, yeah. Just send him like a realistic anything, like you know, like something weird that's like like a realistic thing, realistic <laughs> Powerpuff Girl. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best way to start the show so far that we've had. How's everybody doing today? Is everybody is is everybody like else all like weirded out from daylight savings? Like, mm, I mean, Kate, Kate, out, Katie, 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 and I are the only ones that have to deal with it yet. Yeah, but does yeah, it right weird you out, Katie? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> like every time. <laughs> the worst thing. Seriously. Yeah, totally. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> Just, I'm so tired from missing that hour of sleep. <laughs> I by the way, afterwards. <laughs> by the way, Katie, you're you're muted. You were muted that whole time. You're like, you're <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Yeah. You're saying you're, that whole time. Whole we can't thing. hear you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still can't hear you, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're unmuted on Zoom, but we, we, we still can't hear you. Is your mic turned down uh, physically? Is it on, what's going on there? No, Jay. We're no, professionals. Still can't can you hear you, me Katie. Now? Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. It just wasn't turned on. Yeah, so this yeah. whole time when I first got into the Zoom call, I thought you guys were ignoring me. <laughs> just don't want to talk nope. to you. No, nope. just me. That's what we do. We just ignore people. No, just well, we, we discussed it before you joined so that it was like a... We have thought about doing that in the past. There you go. Yeah, yeah I, I, I don't... feel like savings is having an effect on Katie, clearly. <laughs> I need more hours in my day and not the kind that we're getting. So. Oh, God. It, it, it messes with me, I think, for like a solid week to two weeks, honestly. Like, it just, it screws up your equilibrium, like, for the mm. whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, obviously, Euros, if you're here right now, you made it! Hooray! Everything I communicated to you properly. Uh, we tried, we tried. We sent out a few tweets and things, and we tried to let you know what was going on. Um, it's but, so annoying. Yeah. Why is it a week difference? I don't know. I don't it's know. Like, it's always like two weeks, though, isn't it? It's, well, I think most people it's agree. Two, it's just kind of outdated it's this at this time. point. Oh, my God. Yeah. Okay. It's the very Fine. end of the month that you guys get yours mm -hmm. switched over. I like it for the shows that I do at 10 o'clock, like tomorrow for Darkfire. 
in theory, tomorrow's episode of Darkfire should be like 1% better because I'll be like slightly less tired. <laughs> we'll see. Only 1% though. Only 1%. I'm always super tired for it because it starts at 10. And 10 isn't really that, like late for me because I go to bed a lot later, but still it's the end, very end of my day. It's understandable. It's understandable. It's it's hard to be like, you know, entertaining and and cognizant of the things that are going on. Plus you actually do work before that. You know, so some of my days are horrible yeah. where I get up and I edit something and then stream and then do one of these shows. And at the end of it, I'm like, ah, ah, where am I? What's going on? Please have my feed me. She's like, no, fuck off. Kicks yeah. me out. She just does that so that when she does feed you, it's like the greatest thing ever. Yeah. She's like training me like an yeah. animal. To come to her for food. It's not like it's hard. I mean, you basically <laughs> are. Yeah. Yeah, we did an IQ test between, which is like an IQ test that you do with your dog to see who has the higher <laughs> IQ. He gave me the test. He was like reading off the questions because mm -hmm. I. He is way more intelligent than me. I think everyone that looks at Merlin knows that he's smarter than you. He is shaven right now, and it's so funny. Yes, she was. Come here, bald dog. He has no. <laughs> He has oh my head. god! It's like a completely different dog. He's so much more adorable. <laughs> eyebrows, though. He's so much cuter and younger looking. Old man Merlin is gone. He's found the fountain of youth. He's no longer the, the, the dark chan. No. He's no longer a demon. He's just a nice little dog for once. The darkness is within him still. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he went to stay with my mum for a week while we moved house. And he came back like this <laughs> what have you done to my dog what have you done to him look how they massacred my boy they uh yeah it could be a different dog for all i know you know <laughs> this they just like they were like oops we backed over the dog we need to get another one and just replace him with this one i was thinking oh they decided he was so lovely that they were gonna keep him and they were just gonna replace no him. i went to the dark well, place as well but i didn't yeah, want to yeah. it. Like, i'll take like, it oh, and we accidentally Killed the dog. Um, he's gone to the farm. <laughs> he's gone to the farm, Brad. It would probably work for me. What farm? Can I go there? <laughs> no, no. I should have all Christ. I should have all Christ. Yeah. Good start to the oh, show so far. Is that now? <laughs> I'm super tired as well because uh, I had to move house again. Again? And I had to move the rest of my house from the other house to this house. Gotcha. Gotcha. And it, it was the It's a long trip machine. to Japan. The washing machine. Having to get the washing machine to the airport. They're so heavy. Cool. So, it, it, honestly, my this part of my body, I think it's called traps or whatever, the trapezoids or whatever they are, hurts so much now. Like it's, I did it like hours ago, and it's I can just imagine Brad with like a piece of twine around the washing machine <laughs> strapped to his back, and Emma genuinely have like Emma's whip. like in the washing machine whipping him, like, <laughs> come on, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so tired from it. I don't know how it managed to tire me out so much. It was just like that, and the last few boxes and stuff, and I'm like, I can't move any more stuff. Can't do it. Please, no more moving house. It's technically done now. The whole like moving thing we have a few boxes to unpack but oh my god i'm just done i'm so done with it i never want to move again so tired my arms hurt <laughs> this is the first time that, that brad anything, yeah right? this is the first time that brad has done anything so i don't is... anymore i used to be in like quite good shape in like my early 20s and i moved a washing machine today and i probably reduced my lifespan by like half <laughs> 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 i feel like <laughs> My 70-year-old uh. uncle went on my walk with me today, and he went up this... I have... I've added this very steep hill to my to my walks now every day that I do. And he, like, he walked up the hill with me, and he's in really good shape. 70 years old. He's got a better resting heart rate than I do. And he's just... He's going up the hill with me, and he starts... He starts, like, chugging. He's like... Ooh. Ooh. I'm like, you okay, Tio? Tio, you all right? <laughs> you know, was this a bad idea? He's like, no, no, I'm okay. <laughs> ooh, ooh. 
And it, it's it's tough, man. That's a hard hill, and he did it, man. He, so my point here is, Brad, he's in better shape than you. <laughs> oh, for sure, dude. I've never been in worse shape. I just sit now. This is all I do. I come away from like the end of a stream, like, man, my finger from clicking too much. I'm so tired. No, yeah, I, I realized moving that thing today. I was like, Christ, this has killed me. It really shouldn't. I should at least be able to do one washing machine in like eight boxes, but nope. Apparently not. <laughs> I haven't well, recovered from last week. Luckily for you, in this in this show, you play a character that's actually someone athletic. Yeah, but he's now got like a anxiety disorder because you put him on the moon. He I didn't put him that. anywhere. This was a personal choice. Uh, you made us do it. There was the DMs before last week's show where you're like, you guys have to do what I say. I'm going to railroad you. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed Noble it. Fry, LAX and everything. <laughs> <laughs> My God. You guys like going to the moon. That's where it is. Okay. Nailed it. Perfect. And you have to have an anxiety disorder. Speaking of anxiety or disorders, Brad, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and your uh, character for everyone? It's your boy coming at you fresh. Irish, Seamus O'Neill, but my moon name is Lollipop. <laughs> um, I literally added Lollipop to my name on the character sheet. Um, I am an athletic human heister who uses heavy weapons or explosives to achieve his goals. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't even understand what this character is going to um, devolve into on the moon, but I for sure am adding like a, an intense fear of the sky, a lack of it to this character now. I think every time he looks up, he's going to be like terrified. Because I was thinking about this, like if you spend your entire life like trapped in a fucking building basically, and then like you you go outside like i get it now because i spend weeks on end in my fucking room and then when i go outside i'm like oh my god i have agoraphobia that must be the weirdest thing for someone who's lived in a mega block their whole life to then go to the moon and uh so i've given him a, an intense fear of lack of sky and uh that is one of my new motivations for seamus because he needs more now that he has no family who he just left behind without didn't leave a note <laughs> He's got on a plane because Jambles <laughs> told him to. And let him... Why is it always my fault? <laughs> well, because who else is he going to listen to? Taskbari wants him dead. Fucking One Johnny. time. I feel like Johnny. Yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, he would probably listen to Johnny as well, but Johnny doesn't make any decisions. Basically, it's your fault because you're the leader. And that's it. And you just got to suck it up. Johnny really wanted to go to the moon, though. Like, really wanted to. Yeah. Irish really wanted to go to the moon, but he didn't really know what that meant. <laughs> it was just like, yes, let's go to the moon. That'll be great. We'll be I love hopping. cheese. From all the things that are trying to kill us, it makes sense. It's far away. And then got there and was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Speaking of what the fuck is this, Jay. Hmm. Who can do the best Canadian accent? I was going to say, can we all copy his face? Yeah, I think Wax works with the Canadian accent time best. <laughs> Mine slips between Irish and like... Booty booty. Oh, hey it there, like buds. Uh, Jay Brotato here. And uh, yeah, okay. we're going to be doing the Johnny. And uh, I thought, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and we'll have lots of hotties today. And um, it'll be great. So enjoy the show there, hey? Elbows up. Make sure to uh, follow the channel and uh, turn on notifications. Clip that and send it to Jay. Also, it looks like Jay just like did like the worst fart, smelled it, but loved it. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> that's what it looks like happening there. <laughs> the demon wins. <laughs> <It'd be laughs> <like the> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the demon wins. I feel like that's the name of the episode today. <laughs> <laughs> Purely based on the picture chosen for Jay. Um, <laughs> no, not the demon wins. The demon wins because the fart smelled good. That's why the demon won. Speaking of demons, Katie. <laughs> I 
feel like today start off really weird. Um, it has. Little, There's no has. doubt about yeah. it. It has. Uh, I play little jambles. Um, we're on the moon now, and I don't think there's good Wi-Fi, so I feel like there's bad things gonna happen. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna be bite fighting Archie today or not. So if your um, character wasn't useless enough by not, oh. not being allowed to do any hacking, now there's no Wi-Fi. You just straight up can't. I love how Whack <laughs> refuses to allow you, the hacker, to do any hacking. She does hacking all the time. What are you talking she about? Has that first, the robo stuff, though, where it was like, oh, robots are attacking. We have a hacker. That should be really she awesome. She purposefully like, did not no. take the move. She purposefully <laughs> did not take the move that says, allows you to hack robots. I right. didn't. I had it, but don't have a computer. Mm. And how many uh, how many different um, tabletop or D&D games had you played at that time, Katie? Zero. Oh, really? Yeah, that's in, what a helpful, easygoing GM you are. <laughs> He is the GM of Doom, I'm, I mean. I've never claimed to be an easygoing <laughs> DM. That's why I put that shit on your title bar. Every <laughs> tabletop game tomorrow. after this just seems easygoing because I've started at the hardest point. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. I'll tell PB you said that. No, no, yeah. don't. She told yeah. me earlier this week, she's like, I've got some things planned for Wednesday. And it's like, that's all she said. So I'm like, okay, cool. It doesn't matter what she throws at you, though. Like, from now on, you'll just be like, what is this? You know, like, try, PB, try it. It's like, she's like, you've got 17 werewolves to fight and you're alone. You'd be like, yeah, okay. <laughs> <Try I'll> do <laughs> <that>. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> Have you seen Mondays? <laughs> Sector 49, all right. <laughs> Kitty. Do you remember when we continually got beaten to within an inch of our lives every week by robots? <laughs> try harder, Billy, the chimp. Oh. Oh, this is so sad. No, that was two t two characters ago. I've already forgotten. Horrific. <laughs> Katie, do you want to do your actual intro now? <laughs> I try. I, I mean, hacker, no Wi-Fi. We're on the moon. I'm rubbing oil on Irish and also potentially bite fighting RG. And we're going to see what happens today on Sector 49. Thank you, Katie. Tosh. I'm having a nice time on the moon. It's been pretty pleasant for me. I play Taskbar, who is a medic robot, and I'm going to have some medicking to do because Lil Jambles is about to try beat up a child. So I just want you all to know that. Just, and I'm Wait, gonna have not, to he's everything. not a child. He's a yeah, child. he is. We all Archie's think he's a child. eight. Well, he's not, yeah. though. Well, it's still a child. Well, I'm kind of, so... Well, I guess we don't really know his age, so I might be attacking a child shortly. <laughs> I have in my notes, looks eight. Okay, so Jambles is um, just going to be up a child, and I'm going to fix the child, because I'm a good robot with lots of feelings. Can't fix him if we throw him off the train. That's true. Which is my plan. Unless we okay. do the thing. I still kind of like the idea that it cuts in today to like us all crowded around, chilling out, having a great time. And we've all become friends. And it was just like this inexplicable cut to like what, like us, like the end of last week's episode was us like all jumping at him with like knives and shivs and shit. It's like it the shimmer in Atlas. We've all, yeah, we've been through the shimmer. We've all got like some like bandages and stuff on. And we're all sitting around just having a great time laughing at how stupid Johnny looks while he's asleep in front of us. <laughs> it's not gonna happen though we're all probably gonna get permed by cigar <laughs> fucking broken op min max character thank you so much for that wonderful intro tosh and brad yep i think everyone's surnames in this is actually just and brad so Tasbar and brad and <laughs> jambles and brad thank you do you have anything that you actually want to say tosh um, that Brad can uh, ruin? No, just because this is this is how we go. <laughs> We're to the moon. I don't know. I'm a robot. I'm having a panic now, and I'm really warm. Okay, let's move on. Thank you, Tosh. Zagonicus. Hey, everybody. I'm Zagonicus. I play Archie, who is a heister slash thief slash uh, pest, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing how he uh, fits in with this group by uh, 
I think it'll be I think it'll be good fun. Lots of lots and lots of fun. It's mainly what I'm aiming for is fun. Good. There's plenty that of fun planned for today. Terrifying. It sounds like he's gonna cut off our fucking eyelids and eat them. And I didn't min max this character. What do you think okay? hotties are made out of? I I just I just made the character like I mean like Max. I know you min maxed him. Max. I know you did. There's no way you didn't. It's not about the mechanics, it's about the role play. We're, we're about to kill him anyway. It's about winning. I mean, <laughs> he's going to have to have made another character, so... You nerds would have a genuine hard time killing him. <laughs> it would take I a while, at least. A <laughs> while? I hate just... saying that, because it yeah. makes you just want to do nothing but endlessly try and kill him week in, week out. And I hate PvP, but it's all I want to do now, <laughs> is kill his character forever. You've, you're just you're you're constant. Like after we ended last week, he was like, "You guys can't kill me." I was like, <laughs> "You are insane." And it, it doesn't matter if it happens today or in three weeks, when you're lying on the ground like Ugh! an Irish would never in character be like, "I kick him off the ledge." But I, as Brad now, will have no choice but to <laughs> find a reason to pick you up and throw you off the ledge in your dying moment. Yeah. Mm. Good story, bro. Just so that I can find that clip of you saying you'll have a hard time killing me and just send it to you. I mean... Why would you do this to me? Okay. It's not hard to trigger Brad at all. All you, have, on, to, all you have to do is tell him not to do something. Just come on. It's Why? not difficult. Thank you, Zagatikus. Thank Brad. you. And Brad. Um, <laughs> I'm Wise Steven. I will be the GM of Doom. I'll be dragging the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. If you guys missed it, we are playing Judge Dredd in the Worlds of 2000 AD, a wonderful module created by, uh, not module, a uh, system rather, created by uh, Morris, a wonderful human and sponsor of the show. If you want to help support Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is go give Morris some love. Go check out uh, patreon.com slash morris, M-O-R-R-U-S, and morris.podbean.com, which is where you can listen to the MP3 version of this show, as well as the recently completed Crash City. Um, there he is. Hey, Morris, how's it going? We already screwed up this intro real nice, and we've been wasting so much time. Oh, my God, it's horrible. Um, don't worry. I'll make the players pay in today's episode. Um, I'll make them pay. Um and if you guys want to learn more about Judge Dredd in the worlds of 2000 AD that we are uh, actually playing today, you can head on over to worldsof2000adrpg.com. Um, the system's based off the What's Old is New RPG system, and uh, it's got all the worlds of 2000 AD, including Judge Dredd, sprinkled in there. A good, uh, a good amount of info uh, on Judge Dredd as well. If you don't know a lot about the setting, there's tons of stuff in there to help you get acclimated, so it's really cool. Um, and the players are currently uh, on the moon. They're they're, uh, they're they've headed to the moon. Um, Morris was kind enough to send me over a preview version of the uh, the Luna One module that's coming out soon for for this uh, for this system, and uh, we're giving you guys a little bit of a preview of that. So the players have headed to the moon, and I and by the way. As, as, as horrible as Brad is, I didn't actually force them to do that. I just said, hey, guys, here's an option. We want to go to the moon. <laughs> that was their reaction. So it just kind of all worked out. Um, but, yes, they have ventured to uh, Luna 1. And in last episode, they had the pleasure of hanging out with Judge Dredd for a little while, which was a great time for little jambles. And uh, the boy that was sitting behind his, his uh, seat on the shuttle, kicking uh, kicking it and screaming at him. Um, but don't worry, he was sent to the ISO cubes. Everything will be fine. His mom will probably need therapy along with her son for a long, long time. Everything works out in the end. In Mega City 1. Um, but yes, they've made their way to Luna 1, and they got on the, the maglev train headed for a small uh, a small oxygen dome known as uh, Grey Rock, trying to make their way on the moon. Um, they headed to, well, one of the cheapest places they could find. Um, 
And on the Maglev train, they ran into, uh, well, somebody that, unbeknownst to them, stole a bunch of Irish's credits. Um, however, Archie was kind enough to introduce himself um, and try and swindle them out of some more money. Uh, any, any amount of money humanly possible or mutantly possible in Archie's case. Um, and uh, things got a little bit heated as Johnny managed to snatch his, uh, snatch his bag and some hotties. Um, and Archie pulled out a pistol and uh, decided to threaten them a little bit. The group did not take too kindly to that and readied themselves for some action. Little Jambles especially seems to hate Archie so far. Um, she, w she was ready to fight at the drop of a, ha of the drop of a hat. It was, it, was super, it was super easy for Little Jambles to hate you, Archie, so be prepared. Um, so we're starting today's episode with everybody sort of tensed up and ready to fight. Um, it's at that point that you guys, um, are about to sort of, like, lunge at Archie. Archie's probably, like, turning the safety off on his spit pistol. And, um, the, uh, this horrific sound, um, reverberates through the, uh, train car. <laughs> Oh no! You hear Johnny exclaim. Oh, this is a big Johnny trouble time. Oh, oh no. Oh no. You know oh, what? oh! 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 What's wrong with you? Oh, oh! Oh! What the fuck is that smell, Johnny? Johnny's got a little problem. How can it smell it? so much like fish if you only eat hot? Oh. Johnny's got. Oh. Is there a bathroom? Oh. Yeah, take it down there. Oh. Down there. Oh. Oh. Johnny runs off. There's this horrible, horrible smell trailing as Johnny runs with his with his hand covering his uh, covering his butt crack. Um, he's just running in this sort of lope towards the back of the car. Um, he rushes off and he says, "Those hotties!" Ah! He's screaming the whole time. Rushes to the back of the car, and uh, you guys start to hear more horrific noises coming from the bathroom. Oh, I sting in my eyes. I'm moving to the next car. What's wrong? Like yeah, you might want to move along a bit. Oh, I can't, I can't be in here. I'm leaving the. Yeah, oh, I'm moving on two taste cars. Taste it a little bit. Two cars I, up. The I air have sick. smell receptors. Uh, yeah, well, you're lucky. You okay? It's poison gas. We're going it's to die. Yeah, that's, that's really bad. Don't breathe probably would be best. I'm going to oh. hold As a medic. Car over. Don't breathe. Okay, so you guys move to the next car. Um, inside the next car, um, you guys kind of try to, you know, catch your breath, I guess, in this... Uh, in a in a better environment, most of the the uh, the people that were in that car, by the way, have done the same thing. So there's people like trying to push past and whatever. Um, however, in this car, you see uh, two people that you recognize, Archie. Um, these two people uh, you've seen around on the the Maglev train and such before. Um, <clears throat> they're, uh, you know that they're a part of a gang known as the Sundance Gang. Uh, there's a tall, skinny, like, very lanky man. Um, he's, he's known as kind of a badass in these parts. Uh, goes by the name of Ace. And, uh, he wears, like, this, um... He wears like a bandana underneath like a like a cowboy hat. Otherwise he wears like really tight like leathers and stuff all over his uh, all over his body. He's got like spikes and things on the leathers. Um, and uh, the other guy that's with him is uh, is sort of short and stocky, bald head, wears a bowler's cap, uh, a bowler's hat uh, on top. And um, he uh, 
He's got like a uh, uh, handlebar mustache. Um, he's pretty ugly looking, and um, he's not like fat, but he's like stocky, right? Like he's kind of like he's a meaty little guy, and um, he goes by the name Doobie. And um, yeah, both of them, both of them are sort of. I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily call them lieutenants, but uh, they're they're uh, higher ups in the Sundance gang. You've uh, you've probably been, if not trying to get into the Sundance gang, maybe do some work with them. Something, something in the past, um, and you can see them kind of. Uh, they're looking around the cart a little conspicuously. Um, boy, ah. Uh... They haven't noticed you yet. They're probably at the other end of the car. At the under, end of the car, rather. Oh, lollipop. Hi. Uh, you see him down there? Down that end? Big tall yeah. guy with a hat. Yeah, what about him? Yeah. Ah. Uh, you might want to go back. Just back in that one. I know. Oh, no. If I can know where am I going back in there? Oh, it might be better than hang around here. No. Nope. Why? Give me a good reason. To go back into that. Well, uh... Have you heard of the Sundance Gang? Yeah. I... No. Oh, well... Yeah, they're kind of a big deal, so... Them two are kind of a big deal in the big deal, so... We're kind of a big deal. Yeah, we're a big deal. Where yeah. we come from, we're like, yeah. own the whole block. I you're a big deal, that's why I'm hanging around. Jambles is a mob boss. I am. All right. Well, let's just... I think they're up to something. They've got that look about them, you know? Well, we don't have to interact with them. We could just go to another car. Right. I'm, I'm what if they want to rob this? Hello there. Oh, God. So, Iris, you're sort of signaling to them. Um, you can see, like, Ace turn his uh, head towards you, um, uh, Archie. He, he, like, looks you up and down. You could see he recognizes you for a... Like, he's taking a good look at you, and he recognizes you for a second. And he starts to make his way over to you. Um, to you and, and the group. And uh, Doobie's sort of, like, following behind him. What's he doing? What? We want to get some work with them, don't we? No. Oh, That's what we want. I thought we were being farmers. But we need so to be too. able to afford a farm. They're kind of cheap, I think. What? Yeah, I guess they're cheap, so then we don't need to do what we used to do. Well, Come on, no, just, just don't. We can Let's be it. legitimate professionals or steal or rob. All right. Jambles. Jambles, robber, robber work, robber work. No, don't rob them. We don't know. He's saying they're dangerous. And spin around. We're looking to work with the Sundance gang. And I sit down in the nearest chair. Everybody really everybody in the car is like looking around like over their shoulder. Like it's just like, like, you know, dead stop of, of conversation. Everybody like slowly like turns around. There's a few seconds of like dead silence and like Ace closes his eyes. <sighs> Size, Doobie says, well, "That's not good, Ace." He looks. I'm down. sitting down, real casual, looking up at him. Isn't Irish <laughs> still in his underwear myself. and all oiled up? Oh yeah. <laughs> he sits down in the chair. There's like a you half. Want, I think I have a pencil or something as a shiv, and that's it. Yeah, he do. <laughs> he, he sits down in the chair really casually for like one second, and then. Whoop, Slides right out of the chair, back onto the floor, um, from all the oil, uh, and uh, yeah, Ace Ace uh, sort of like walks over to you, Irish and and uh, Archie, um, and uh, he says, "You look familiar." I right, top in the morning to you, lads. My name's Irish, but you already knew that by the sounds of it. You can call me Lollipop. I try and shift, slide back up into the chair. Give me a charisma check, please. Uh, plus your, 
Oh god, I feel like there's a, you Nothing. need to waste some XP on like an oiling skill. Um, <laughs> I'm so close to the actual proper level up though. I know, I'm but the, on this is the kind of thing that Peachy wouldn't even think about. He's like, of course I need that. <laughs> like he just would that's just what, get it. That's what my luck dice are for, never to be used on anything <laughs> worthwhile. Um, yeah, so um, go ahead and give me a charisma check plus intimidation. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 10. That's a okay. 10 on a 46. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't look that intimidating thing. right now. Um, yeah, Irish is kind of like sliding a little bit on the chair still. He's like whoop, whoop, sliding back and forth in the chair. And, um,. Ace just doesn't even seem to acknowledge you, Irish. He, he looks to Archie, and he says, You. You look real familiar. Yeah, uh, I've been around a bit. Do some work in there. Don't mind him. He's, uh... I think he's mental, that one. Just the Which ace. one? The one slipping around in that chair over there? Yeah, that one. I think there's something wrong with him. Clearly. Yeah, sorry about that. We'll uh, we'll just get out of the way, let you go about your business. Ain't you tried to get into the Sundance gang before? Oh yeah, a bit. Well, you either did or you didn't. There's no a bit. Rah. Right. Good point. Well, did you or didn't you? Yeah, I did. All right. What if I told you you had an opportunity here today to prove yourself? Yeah, all right. If I can make a bit of money as well. What about the rest of them? Uh, well, one of them's in the toilet. And, uh, he's Why would I need to know that? I don't know. I, I kind of just met them, but they seem all right. Uh, and, well, I think they're a big deal, some of them. Like that one. Hey, um, you in the chair. That's Lollipop. Yeah, the name's Lollipop. Does that mean something else down in the big city? Maybe, but I don't know what. Then why'd you name yourself Lollipop? Oh, I didn't heed it. Did I? Yeah, you said we had to have a moon name. Did That's I my say... moon name. Oh, Jambo, did I say that? I, I don't... <sighs> we... He said when you're on the moon, you need a moon name, didn't he? What did he say? You don't need a moon name? Like, if you want to have a moon name, you can have one, but you don't really need a moon name? If you're going to pick a moon name, can you, can you pick one with, like, less syllables? Because that lollipop's too much. I don't know what that Wait, is. Wait, why do you have... You can't have more syllables if you're on the moon? What's a slab low? I've been called worse. Uh, you guys can call yourselves... Now. <laughs> Okay. It's, lolli it's, it's lollipop. Like, I need to call you lollipop also. You can call me what you want. But, you know, me, me moon name is lollipop. And you okay. can call me Irish if you want. Or you can call me Seamus O'Neill. Caspar, do you have a moon name? Yeah, didn't Irish say it was like Beep Boop 123 or something? Beep Boop 123. Sure. We're trying to go for anonymity to avoid. Uh, no. Then, what, then what's what's my moon name? I don't have a. I. You can be Moon Jambles. Moon Jambles. You can be like um mum. It's like it's Bill like Jambles, but Big it's Ma. Moon Ma. Jambles. Big Ma, call you Big Ma. Oh my God! I didn't tell me Ma that I was coming to the moon. Yeah, I asked you about that. I asked you okay, if you'd be okay leaving your family. Home. I can never go back home. You can send her a message from up here, I'm sure. No, she'll come and find me. What about space rocks as a gift? You're Minuma. Me? 
Uh, yeah. Oh, or is Tess you? your mom? Uh, no. <laughs> no. All right, so this is Ira Lollipop, Shy Myself Nail. And Hi. that's mum, that's mum. And that's Beat Boot 123. In the toilet's Big Hottie. Yeah, Big Hottie's in the toilet because he shit himself. Raw Hottie. Again, I don't need to know who's in the toilet or who shit themselves. I couldn't care less. But it sounds like all of you are trying to avoid any sort of suspicion or the law. Is that right? No. no, I think we're all right. We got away with that. that. that depends who. We got away asking. with everything that we were trying to do on Earth. Oh, but I heard that some big fella from down there came up here. What do you mean, what kind of big fella? Like one of them judges came up or something. People were talking about it when they were coming <laughs> off. Judges. The judges that come up to Luna 1 don't know shit. Oh, they can go drop the themselves, if you know what I'm saying. Well, it was, you know, not... It was Dread. It was Dread. It was Dread. It was Dread. It was Boofy. It was Dread. He was on the I, same plane as us. I had to sit next the to whole the whole time. Like, the whole car the... just, like, goes dead silent again. Like, everybody turns their head, like, looks towards... It's like a it's like in unison, just like you hear the sound of everyone's head turning. Everyone's doing that thing on trains where they're pretending not to listen to the conversation, but they've all clearly paused Spotify and they're like yeah, not everyone's actually. Everyone's leading phones. slightly towards a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What? You said dread. What about your business. What do you what do you mean dread? I've That's heard your name. Yeah, G he's a fecker. He's like R he's a big famous e guy. Does stuff. Judge Dredd's on, on D. Luna One. Yeah, Judge Dredd. Dredd. What? You spell Dredd? Double D, not double E. D D R R E E D. No. That's how you spell it. No, it's not. It no. That's too well, many. Well, that's well, scary. That's what? too many syllables and letters. What's a syllable? A syllable. What you get stuck in your ear sometime. Oh, I almost Maybe you down. should clean your Here ears you. out. I literally just, like, I turn my ear to her and you get, like, a Ren and Stimpy, like, hyper <laughs> uh, detailed close-up of just the absolute state of ears that have there's, never been cleaned. Yeah, there's just wax build-up, <laughs> like... Uh, there's, like, actual potatoes growing in your ears. Wax and blood, because they never clean the blood out from all the wounds and stuff. It's just... It's got coffee in our ear as well. Yeah, like, it's probably the worst ears you've ever seen. What's wrong with my ears? So much. Can you yeah, take that's... that out, then, Taskbar? I... Uh, that... No. Taskbar is, like... You know, like you get you get this like other zoom in of like Taskbar's eye, and it's like <laughs> like the lens is focusing in on Irish's ear. I will refer you to a uh, medical professional. Okay, thanks. Oh, you was one of them. I no, don't get paid, surgeon. so technically not a professional. Well, listen oh. here. If y'all are interested. Seeing as how you're of the criminal persuasion, much like ourselves, we got ourselves a little job here with the train. Might oh. you be interested? Yeah, we'll do it. But no. We're done. We're in. Right? What's he, what, what is it? I mean, what is it first? Is it, well, a, is it farming? We, can do it. we, we can got, do it. We got us ourselves a little racket that we're working up over in Grey Rock, you understand. And it would behoove us if we uh, made sure that there were no judge-like reinforcements coming here on this train from here on out. You understand? No. 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 What's behoove mean? Yeah, what the feck is that word? I, can't, I don't speak Moonalese. It makes it easier for us if there ain't no judges coming from Luna One right. over to Grey Rock, we sense. take the train out. It gives us quite a long time to worry about any judges or nothing coming in, trying to disrupt what we got going on in Grey Rock. 
we're having a little party tonight with okay. uh, a rather older judge over in Grey Rock, Judge Kane. Is it his like birthday? Will there be cakes? Why yeah, are you I, holding a party for a judge? I can I help decorate. You want to be helping, Archie? Well, we're not friends with judges. Neither are we. You see, we make sure there ain't no judges over in Grey Rock. How are you we, gonna do that? We got run of the place, you understand? Uh huh. Well, Judge Kane is a little older. Not exactly uh, spry as some of these other judges. You uh -huh. understand? No. So, is he stupid or what? Yes. Yeah. Both. Uh, but he's an old he's an old judge Irish, so that means he's like, you know, not uh not. He'd be put out to pasture if he was down over in them big city areas like you folks come from. He's not young. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I know what old He's means. He's a cow. Okay, how about this? I'll sit here quietly, and then when you're done speaking, Jambles will tell me what we're going to do. If Jambles comes across as quite smart, but I don't know how... how... No, she's not that smart, but she understands different languages because she can tap it into her computer and translate it. I just glare at Irish. I just assume that you're, like, agreeing with me, huh? not my head. I think you're sitting, like, right next to Irish, too. Like, he's just... <laughs> 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 the glare is like this, like, right there. <laughs> I saw your eyes, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you mean by a party? Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to blow the uh, connection here for the train carts. We're going to take the uh, front car, the first one. We'll ride that on down to Grey Rock. We'll leave the rest of these folks behind. They're going to fix it. They're going to send people to fix it. Right, but it's going to take a long time to get this working again. We already got ourselves some explosives down down the line of ways. Oh. Well, Johnny is in the further back section. Yeah. So after he's done pooping. I don't know why you keep telling me when this... I'm asking if we can't wait. Don't, you'll, 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 you'll understand when you see him. Yeah, don't blow up Big Hottie. That's what we, that's his name, right? Yeah, Big, Big Hottie. Hottie. Yeah, he owes me five credits, so he can't. No, he doesn't. He I think it was your Hottie yes, that gave him the does. explosive diarrhea. Yeah, last time he had explosive diarrhea, he was down for precisely three hours. Yeah, it took him a while to recover. Well, but yeah, I guess, well, so all we need to do is just go to the front of the train and wait there then, and then it'll pop off the back stuff, we'll go, and then you want us to have a party. And as long as I get cake, I'm fine with that. I don't think there's going to be any cake. I think it's a but different kind of party. Uh, can there I be cake and murder? Well. We're going to have to go to the store to get ourselves cake after this other party if we want cake. All right. Just right. Let's just make this clear. Is there any cake in Grey Rock? I'm sure there's cake somewhere. Look. I don't Sorry. think you understand what kind of party this is going to be. No, Murder and cake don't party. Don't know how many times we have to tell you we don't know what you're saying. No, it's a party without cake, clearly. Like a party for um, an old man who's a judge and you've not got cake. Like I don't... a, like a we, uh, party ever. You do it's really party. weird up here, you know? Parties yeah. on, on the earth are like for, for like an occasion. Like if it's your birthday, you have a birthday party and it's nice. Well, maybe it's his friends. birthday because he's old, so he's probably. What, got... does a bar what does it mean? What does a party mean up here? A lot of time in Do you have a place for us to live or a place we could stay if we help you? Maybe we can arrange some. Do you have a rocket launcher? Are there bunk beds? Are there I bunk beds? I need some food. That's a deal breaker. 
What? What? Like, could we each have our own bed? I, uh, yeah, or I can I share. One I don't assign one. the bed, sweetheart. I don't know. All right. Well, could you direct us to who does? Is it that little fella there? Doobie the kind of like he like looks up and he says, Haha, "These guys are kind of stupid." I Why don't does appreciate he look that. Like a rat? Your voice is kind of stupid. Is there something wrong with your vocal cords? Can I kill a mace? Can I kill him? No. I don't want to be doing that. It's a bad idea. What would you do? Slash our ankles? Yeah, I literally cannot die. Ace kind of like looks at Doobie and he says, Now, Doobie, we ain't done nothing yet. We got to make sure that we get our job done. And I don't care what you do. <laughs> All right. Yeah, can we have that job, though? Because you keep talking about a party, and what we need is a job. Right? We've only just got I think, here. I think the job's to get to the party. Oh, that's the easiest the job I've ever got. Stop. Watch your pay into that. And tell me the location, Maybe. and we'll go to it. Oh, yeah. Maybe and, you know, we you have think? to organize it. They oh. don't have cake. They don't Normally have we birthday. have to go and kidnap a robot, or kill people, or avoid being disintegrated. But just go into a party. God, you got the life up here. You said something about blowing stuff up as well. Oh, I can do that too. Yeah, I'm really good. Works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, when I said party, what I meant was we were going to take Judge Kane. We were going to string him up on a noose and we we're going to hang him tonight. Okay. Well, yeah, we can do that for you. Mm -mm. Hold on. Wouldn't it make more sense to just have Judge Kane in your pocket so you can run the town before they send another more young judge once the train's fixed up? Or I'll yeah, keep him sausage. Judges are usually really big, Jambo. Judge Kane. Or a more easily cover up a bull that's not a word murder. Judge oh, Kane's have... old school. Believe me, we already tried. Were well, you going to have someone impersonate Judge Kane? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever we got to do. Only thing that's important is we don't have any new fresh judges come to Grey Rock for a while. We make this train stop. Well, ain't nobody in a hurry to get to Grey Rock. You see how empty this train is. Grey Rock's the last stop. If you kill the judge that's old and weak, will they not replace him with a nice young judge? Just, yeah. Maybe that dread fella. Oh, yeah, you don't want to be killed. Not if judges. they don't know that Judge Kane is dead. Great Judge idea. Ford. We dress up jambles. As Judge Kane? Is that what you're thinking? From now on. And then when everyone comes to see Judge Kane, she's like, Hello there, my name's Jambles. Uh, Judge Kane. And then. You'll have to get rid of the makeup palette, though. I would. I see I'd have to get rid of the, the palette. I mean, oh, no, we can't do that. Yeah, so someone else is going to have to dress up. Yeah, what well, about you. Big Hottie? He could totally pass as a judge, but we may need bigger shoulder pads. No, you need a bigger head for him. His head's fine. Put a helmet it's on. Really it's fine. Oh, helmet, that'll work. Judge why, Johnny. Why are you trying Stuff to run with pillows? What, what are you trying to do there? Whatever the hell we want. When's the last time you felt like you had any freedom? It's been a while. Like, never. Judges no. got everybody under their boots. Yeah. Well, Sundance Gang says, Hey, we want to be free. We want to live by our own rules. At least that's what the preacher says. I'm in. Uh, Preacher? Good. Yes. <clears throat> Living free? Yes. Killing judges? Yes. Blowing shit up? Yes. I'm in. Sorry, yeah, Jambas. I'm joining them. No, but if we said no anyway, you're still going to blow it up, right? So we might as well just so we can not get blown up. How We're really good at blowing stuff up. Save? Yeah, money. Can I get a salary? This will be like your introduction to the Sundance, Sundance Gang. You want to join up? You help with the train. 
you don't help with the train, well, maybe you end up on the wrong side. Sounds like a good deal. What if I just ran around the train saying you guys were going to blow it up? That's not a good idea. Why don't you find out and see what happens? Yeah, don't do that. Why is she always in a bad mood? Oh, I don't know. She's moody because she doesn't like flying. She's moody. Ha, ha. That was a good one. Ha, ha. Weren't we just going to, like, kick your ass, Archie, not that long ago? So... We're going to try. Yeah, he's in the Sundance gang with me now, Jambles, okay? So I, he's under my protection. Ain't nobody in the Sundance gang just yet. You yeah. gotta help with blowing up the train. Oh, I'm gonna be in that gang. Anybody oh, yeah, here good I'm... with explosives? Hello there. My name is Lollipop, and it's everything I know. Explosives. Your name's I'm... Ace, right? No, it's Lollipop. Name's Ace. This is Doobie. Why don't you see how good he is with explosives, and then we'll talk. Give me one. Give me a bomb. Or a rocket launcher. Uh, what do you want me to blow up? And I just point at a random person. You want me to blow up that little old lady? <laughs> you had a nice life there. Do you want to manage I'm these I'm going two? to see my son. Oh, no, you're not. You <laughs> leave the old lady power. alone, Irish. A pat her on the head. What? He wants me to blow her up. No, no one wants you to blow up this nice We need to lady. join their gang, right? They're having Is a festival. Is she nice? You don't even know her. No, the what? Time, yeah. gang is kind of a big deal. And if, you know, if you... Judges don't always help people. The gang's good to have help people, so... We're going to be farming moon rocks, eventually. And we need a little gang to peddle that moon rocks, Right. I, I I'm not going to be farming nothing. Why would you but... be selling moon rocks on the moon? Oh, you'll see. Sundance, kid. You'll see. Oh, well, I can't do explosives, but I can sneak around and take stuff. I'm good at that. I could make an explosive that's sticky, and then you could sneak it into the place that it needs to go. What does the robot do? Nothing. I you... fix their burns when they explode things wrong. She doesn't. Which she is surprisingly practice. often. Also, uh, just die inside. I point at the fucking guy that was with him. I forget his name, Doobie. Doobie. I point at him and I say, she's a plastic surgeon. And I just look at him. Actually, I'm metal, but sure. She might be able to fix you up. Yeah, I think it's a doctor robot. Doobie, Doobie looks at Ace again. You sure I can't kill him? I want to kill him. What's wrong with him? Doobie gets a little excited when there's the prospect of blood on the horizon. <laughs> you just hear Doobie giggling. Is he like your little murderer friend? Like, does he do all your murdering for you? Doobie's quite skilled. Yes. He's like the Irish to your jambles. I don't know what that means, but regardless, what do you do? He points to you, little Jambles. Why does it matter? <sighs> well, my people. I don't know. I can trust talents. you. We just met you. We just met Archie. She's a mob boss. You're the She's one. Mob boss. Now, as much as I'd like to take credit for running the Sundance Gang, the preacher's the one that. Uh, Controls our activities. So, so he's the one in charge. That's right. Yeah, I think she's in charge of them, and the one that's in the toilet. I think she looks after them. Lot. So you're in charge of this mess. I mean, I wouldn't call it a mess, but there's a literal mess around Irish. There's oil that has squirted onto this chair and the floor just from his just from his being there. If you must know, I hack things. But judging by the connection here, I'm not sure how that's going to work here. She's the farmer lady boss. All right. Well, 
We were going to do things the loud way, but I suppose if we do things the quiet way, we might have a better chance of making this last as long as possible before we get any judge company over to Grey Rock. Yeah, quiet's good. I can be quiet. All right. So here's the plan. You... What'd they call you, Mama? I, I oh, guess. that's cute. Yes. Yeah, that's Mama. Yeah, you, Mama. Hey, Mama. You can uh, do us a favor by hacking into the uh, the piloting system here on the train. Okay? Taking control of that first car. Take control of the first car. Right? You do that. And then, Archie, you can go ahead and get to the uh, compartment where the trains can unlock the hitch. Fair enough. Then uh, Lollipop here, go ahead and uh, make sure that uh, the trains behind won't follow with some explosives. How do I do that? Well, you can blow out the, uh, the wheels on the train. Or the, uh, the anti-grab device, rather. But you want the trains to not follow with explosives, but how am I supposed to know if they've got explosives? We have explosives. Yeah, but how do I know if they have them? Who? That's more of a... The other trains. Why would the other trains have explosives? Well, you said I have to make sure the other trains don't follow with explosives. Yeah, you did say that. I heard you. Okay, well, how much well, explosives is there then? Uh, got explosives. You said I this wasn't a mess. If you give me explosives, I can blow up the tracks or the grav belt well, thing. Well, Big Hottie's got explosives. And then oh, they won't be able okay. to follow us anyway, re- whether Listen, they've got them or not. if you're good with explosives, then you can make it so it don't look like it blew up from explosives, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, What's up, Mama? No, yeah, he can totally do that. Yeah, of course he can. I'll need some explosives and a rocket launcher. Yeah, you confident. And a receipt. Right. So we can get you some explosives to blow up the anti-grav on the car behind the first car. That's the second car. Good. Do you want me to blow up the other train or not? No. We oh. want you to take out the anti-grav for the train in a small oh, explosion. Yeah, so I that... know. I was just checking. It's better to be very concise and clear what you the want. Short. Short sentences, small words. Jambos, he wants me to blow up the other train, right? Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to take control of the first car. And I believe we're all going to be on that. Archie's going to go unlatch the other car so that our car is the only one going forward on the tracks. You need to blow up the car on the wheels or the grav belt. And make See, that's it a... what I'm having a problem here. What the heck is a grav belt? It's a little bit under that go... I'm just gonna walk to the door and look at, out and look down and see what I see. Yeah, give me a perception check. Let's see if you can see it from this angle. That was a good impression, Archie. Yeah, I've heard them a lot. Uh, an time. eleven from Irish. Uh, yeah, you can see there's there's um there's like circular uh, anti grav pads, probably like uh, on a bit of an angle. The train is kind of. The, the track is a bit recessed into the ground, right? So it's almost like a like a U, kind of, with an angled uh, side. So the the grav anti grav pads are probably placed on a bit of an angle away from the train, so that they hit the ground. I turn around and say, "There are circular things down there, and if I hit it with an explosive, I think it'll break us away from the rest of the train." Mm-hmm. That's what they want you to do. Yeah, I'll do that. It's better, isn't it? It's a better plan. Great idea, Irish. It was a great idea. It was an excellent idea. 
told you I know what I'm doing. What kind of explosives do you have, Ace? Keep it quiet. Oh, sorry. Got quiet explosives. Never no, them before. we don't have... Listen, what we got here is we got some... Well, let's just say it's a little homebrew. Okay. Sticky explosives. You get those down on them grav pads. It's a small explosion. Right? So you gotta climb out there. Stick them on the grav pad. And the train should go down. Nice and quiet. Take a long time before it gets repaired. You understand? No big boom. But they if don't... you blow the whole thing up, it'll take them like forever to fix it. They just send Instead another of... train. Oh, but what if we blow up the whole train tracks? How are you gonna... Do you know how long these tracks are? Oh. Well, well no, a but... section of them. They Here's said the... that everything's half the size on the moon or something. Who said? What? Shambles did. No, I, I, okay. Ace, you do a big explosion here. Judges are going to come. I'm sure there's moon cars, right? There's Service lots, vehicles. There's lots of vehicles, yeah. So if you make Trains a big Train's way faster, thing, yeah. though. Well, the train is faster, but if you do a big explosion and it gets back to the city, they're going to come faster. We got to do something that a little looks like a malfunction. Yeah, Mechanically, just an FYI, this this uh, Maglev train is like a bullet train, right? So this thing's going like two, three hundred miles an hour. Um, so it's way, way faster than any other vehicle that's just going to be sort of driving on the surface of the moon. Um, and this is the last stop away from Luna 1, so it's way the fuck out there. It's taking you guys six hours going 200, 300 miles an hour. So this is, you know, 800. <laughs> this is, this is eight, eight, like, this is pretty far, okay? This is pretty far. It's pretty far. So, if we, yeah, but it's not going to be a big, he says, it's, you stick it on them, on the pads, and then it just blows up the pads. And since we've got the front train, I think that's where all the radios and stuff are, so... Don't be able to say nothing for a while. And even when they find out, they'll exactly. be like, oh. Communications are in the right. first car. Yeah, it's normally up the front. Because that's where. They ain't got is. no communications. Train will be stuck here for a long time. Then, then that's plenty of time to have a party. It's not a real party, it's a kill people thing. Well, we can also make a cake after Archie. Like can you make you cake? Everyone, cake. Can you cook? I can't cook. What the hell kind of question is that? What the hell does that matter? I just like some cake. Oh, well, then we go ahead house? and buy yourself a damn cake. I can just buy a cake. That's right. They're not as good though. Oh, God. Okay, I'll make you all a cake. If you give me a place to stay with the kitchen. Again, I, I don't, there's, listen, we like to stay at this little hotel that's in, uh, that's in Grey Rock. It's called the Ritz Hotel. They got themselves a nice little casino there. Are there kitchens in the rooms? Not in my room. Do they have suites? Probably. All right. Then, right, then when we're getting started. Well, I just want to make sure if I do this and I help that there's something for me on the other side. It just seems like you want us to help you do this. Will we get to, will we get to join the gang, though? Yeah, we're going to join the gang. That's what I he didn't said. just leave a gang to join another. I want a farm. Did we technically leave, or did so we... The thing just... is, if, if, if we join the gang, we don't have to do stuff. It just means that if people from the gang need help, then we help them. And if we need help, the gang helps us. So it's kind of like... Issue where I keep joining different gangs. It's like if 
if you're a judge, except you're not she. You're a serial gang joiner, Irish. Maybe it's Did time you to ever tell our choices. Them? What kind of serial? Listen, I'm you got a choice to make. You want to be in or you want to be out? You want to I be want a left. bed. If I have a bed on the other side, I will hack the train. Bed we can do. And a kitchen if possible. <laughs> I don't make those kinds of deals, Mama. Well, apparently you like to think you're in command, but if you're not, oh, you then said was let me talk to somebody who is. Listen, preacher, ain't here. It's me well, call him. Can and you it's call Doobie. Him? It's better if we don't have any sort of communication with the preacher right now. It's fine. I've got plenty of food for now. I'll share some of it, maybe. Like, you can pay for it. We've still got credits. We can figure it out when we have a bed for you guys. The camera, like, by the way, as soon as as soon as soon Archie says this, the camera, like, switches to just Johnny's face in the bathroom crying. <laughs> There's, like, actual stink lines showing up behind him, and Johnny's just crying. Oh! Oh! He's all gaunt, you know? His cheeks are all, like, just weathered. He looks like he's aged 50 years. <laughs> the horrible noises coming from the bathroom. We he's, like, got to sure. stop and drink some water from the sink. Yeah, <laughs> uh, moon water. Is, is Johnny in the right car if we do this? Or do we have to ask him to move to a different bathroom? I mean, he's That's definitely bad. in the wrong car, like 100%. That is a bad idea. Probably. We don't want him in our car. Well, well if I... he's further back, he won't be able to come to the farm with us. Well, then, he won't be... Oh, he won't be can't we, like, give him the address and he can come and get us later? No, because we're... Well, I can bring him forward and make sure he oh, doesn't he smell. smell. Yeah, you do that for now, then, and then we'll just go over the details again. Get what him to the doing? bathroom and lock him in. You need me to steal something from in between the trains. Ah, uh, unless you can steal the stench. That was that, that, the disconnecting bit. The connecting bit. Will I there be a to... bathroom in the front one? Because then I'll go get Johnny in. Sorry about Yeah, I'll be here. Yeah, there's a bathroom. The bathroom up there. It's a fancy one as well. Okay, so do we have the plan figured out? Are we doing this? Think so. Yeah, it's super easy. You're either with us or you're not. Which are you? I mean, I feel like after, we're with you. All right, Dan. If I have a yeah. bed, that's there all. There you go. I nice told you. We done. just joined them. We're done. I'm not. I would like to reserve the right to decide if I've joined the Sun you just, He said you're with us and you said yes. yes we could be with, right, so with another Sunday person night. for this adventure or this mission and then you, you can go your separate ways. It doesn't have to be like a, a binding contract, Irish. Not everything has to be a binding contract. But we're going to the festival, totally right? Up, actually. It's a birthday party. We're going to it, right? Yes. No, I don't think we're going to the party. We didn't get an invite. Oh, uh, I didn't. I didn't can we invite. get an invite to the festival, sir? Um, <laughs> uh, so it's at this point that that like Taskbar has uh, Johnny like um, sort of. She's helping Johnny like walk along. Johnny looks like he's lost like fifty pounds. He's all skinny and like wiry now. Like all his muscles have deflated. And, I actually like, like host him down in the bathroom because he. He smells. He's just dripping. Yeah, he just—he's like—he's barely holding up his pants. Like as he's as you guys are as Taskbar and Johnny are like walking past, and he's, ah, oh, Johnny, oh, and Taskbar and and Johnny just kind of move to the front car. Do you have any more hotties, Archie? I told you five credits. Can you put him in the bathroom, please? Because he stinks. And I, I love you, Johnny. Lock him in. I'm just going to chuck him in there. And... Well, yeah, I can't we'll stink straight, okay? And I've got a lot of work to be getting in front of me. Can I get those explosives, please, sir? Well, let's let's do it up. Let's do it. Let's head up there first and do it. 
Just get Remember it done. Remember to give it five minutes because they've walked up to the front car. You gotta Stay head down. to the back car there first, Archie, and go ahead and back. get yourself uh, the. Uh, well, you gotta get ready to unhitch the 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 car. Controls for the hitch are all the way in the back. Well, how am I supposed to get back up the front then? You can unhitch it and then move. Doesn't unhitch all the way until, uh, well, you gotta hit the release manually. Right, so I just need to be quick about it, you're saying? You gotta turn the lock off and get your butt back up here. All right, then. Well, I'll meet you up there, then. All right. Is there internet on the train? Or any sort of, like, Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. There's, there's 9G on the train, yeah. It's all, I mean, that's terrible. That's, like, 3G here. Okay, and so is it better than the airport or, like, the port that we were in? Oh, no, it's worse. Okay, I'm going to take my laptop out, and I'm going to start trying to hack the front car to at least get control of it, since it seems like it might take a while. Okay, sure. Go ahead and give me your logic plus computers check. Please, I don't want to roll terrible today. 23 plus. Was it a two? It was a 2d6. 2d6. Uh, an additional six. Okay, so 29 total. Why are you giving? Why are you making that face? That's ridiculously good. There's a one. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one one. There's only one one in an 86. There's two sixes in there. It's a solid roll. Um, <laughs> That's totally the streamer brain. It's like you get like a million compliments and then there's one douchebag that's like, I wish you would die. And then that's <laughs> the only quit, one. Quit all internet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only one you hear forever and ever. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, you uh, you start to the slow process of, of, of hacking. It's like, uh, you know, it's like trying to, yeah, I mean, basically it's it's like the equivalent of having, you know, one tenth your normal speed or something like that, um, as you try and, and and start to hack this thing. Um, it's it, to be fair, the maglev train, the security is not that great on this thing. Um, there's not a lot of hackers that are coming on this maglev train trying to, you know, hack this. Um, so they don't have super tight security. To be okay. fair, from what you can tell, it's not going to be that hard. It's just a matter of you waiting, like okay, just patiently for this stupid connection to connect. Just like this little circle going around. <laughs> yep, they got the circle. It's just like every time you do anything, the circle comes up. It's just aggravating the hell out of you. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, little Jambles kind of gets in position to try and uh, override the front car. Um, Archie, are you heading to the back? Yeah. Okay. Um, Taskbar... Um, You've brought Johnny to the uh, to the first car's bathroom at this point, and Johnny says, "Taskbar." That's not my name anymore. Also, we renamed you. Hope you don't mind. What's your new name? Beep boop one two three. It's way better. You can shorten it however much Beep, you boop, like. Beep one two three makes so much more sense. Way better. Easier for. Irish, a.k.a. Lollipop, to remember. Lollipop, I love it. And your big hearty. Makes or sense. Or maybe, I am. maybe that needs to change already. No, Johnny will be big again. Don't worry. D do you Just got to have some more hotties. Can you get me some more hotties? Maybe when we get there. But um, I think you should be without food for 12 days. Hours. Johnny just likes to say <laughs> efficient. Stay hydrated. Yeah. Can and, you hydrate and me? This this a sink that lazy bones. Well, I don't know. I just I, figured you were, you know, like a you know, healy person or whatever. You could hydrate me better. Not a person. You're a person to me, Taskbar. I mean Beep boop one two three. Appreciate it. I mean, I guess I can help you out for being so nice with big name changes, and I will try and help him out, even though. 
I thought we have robophobia. Uh, he might actually. Let me check. I think we all kind of do. Same and him just yeah. frighteningly pushing her out of the door. <laughs> Stay away! <laughs> I think <laughs> you're the only one without it, to be honest. I am, and I'm the only yeah. one. Uh, no, Johnny does not have robophobia. Anymore. Oh. What happened to it? I don't think he got it before. I think, uh... I think sure it was Billy it. and maybe Little Jambles? I think I have robophobia. I thought I have he robophobia. had robophobia. It's, it's just not on his sheet. Maybe, maybe Jay just took it off. Oh, no, here it is. He just named it as something else. Uh, yeah, there's a minus 2d6 penalty to all social interactions. Um, <laughs> there hasn't been any rolled yet, but uh, he says... Uh, yeah, so what are you what are you actually trying to do to hydrate Johnny here, Taskbar? Um, in my medikit that I definitely actually do have is a a Rennie's. <laughs> I don't know. What is that? That's some weird uh, British thing. It is a British thing. It settles your stomach, basically. You yeah, it's chewable, that, chewable and acid stuff. Yeah, that stuff makes you not poop. You should be looking for them electromarts or something. Electrolytes? Yeah, that one. Tablets or something. You can get tablets for them. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get Got what plants crave. Of <laughs> Rennies. It's just an antacid. Can I have an antacid? Um Yeah, absolutely. You definitely have those. Okay, well I give him like Two and I just spray with water again. John, John, so Johnny, yeah, you, you spray Johnny with water. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Oh yeah, he needs to get so washed. Good. So good. Yeah, uh, can you get my oil as well? Maybe when you're healthier, you don't want oil looking. Oil like makes me this. healthy. Keeps Johnny looking well. Shiny. I don't have Shiny's any healthy. oil. Just sh- shiny is for later. Shiny's for now. It's always for now. Shiny that water's shiny. I'm the doctor here. What kind of doctor are you? Don't you know that Shiny's healthy? Only if you're a dog. Are you a dog? You're a weird shape. Johnny could mutant. be a dog. Johnny likes big dogs. Big hotties. You do have an abnormally large dog for your head. Johnny needs some hotties. You're cold, hotty. That's enough for today. What are those? He's pointing what to the he's pointing to the tablets or whatever that you're trying to hand him. These are going to make it so you can eat hotties. You just need to have them, and then we'll feel better, and you won't smell out the entire train. He just he he like as soon as you say it helps him eat hotties, he just grabs them from your hand and just inhales them. You meant to chew them. Johnny doesn't need to chew. Johnny can swallow anything. (laughs) Maybe don't go announcing that on the moon. Why? People may get that wrong idea. I'm not your mama. Little Jambles is your mama now, but that's a pro tip. Little Jambles is my mama? She's everyone's mama. Makes sense. It does. I think that she will really grow into her role. Also, we're having cake. Johnny will swallow the cake. Well, make sure there's enough for everyone else. Can't make any promises. When Johnny eats cake... (laughs) Johnny eats cake. Maybe we should buy you a cake. For just yourself. For when you're better. Johnny's better right now. He like tries to stand up. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Just, yeah. Just stay down for now. Bud. Right. Thank you, people. One, two, three. Such no a better problem. name. Big potty. I feel like Big everyone Johnny. needs numbers. Big Hottie Johnny. I like well, it. Well, we already named you. Big Hottie Johnny. Love it. Big 
Hurry, Johnny. Sure thing. Thanks, Beep Boop. One, two, three. He's gonna, like, lean back. Johnny's got business. Uh, I, I'm going to step out. You it's can... the picture on the screen, isn't it? That's what happens next. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the picture. That... Exactly. Um, you close or the door. You just hear some screaming, like, in the in the bathroom. <laughs> ha! Ha! And you walk I'll, away. I'll join little jambles. Not little jambles. I'll join Mama in the front car. Okay. I locked the door though behind me. Just like you can stay in there for now. Yeah, you can see there's like a, probably a few people that like were waiting to go to the bathroom, but after they hear the screaming, they just they kind of turn around and go the other way. <laughs> it's going to be occupied and very stinky for ever, probably. You may Quarantine. want to use a different bathroom. Okay. And uh, Irish. Um, Ace and Doobie uh, head on over to like this sort of unassuming bag underneath one of the chairs um, on the on the uh, the train um, in the first car um, near the back. Um, Ace takes out these uh, let's say there's there's uh, four um, discs about the size of like a hockey puck uh, maybe about like mm, five inches in diameter or so something like that and um, they're circular like cylindrical discs um, and he says now these will make a nice quiet boom but they'll do the job you're gonna climb out put these on the grav pads think you can do it ah uh, yeah Easy. all right you Is that it? put on some clothes or something you got some no i want to grab the nearest person to me that's wearing a white vertigo gaming hoodie because my green one is not here today <laughs> put that on <laughs> okay. Just so that I wear this every week from now on. <laughs> to justify why I'm not in the green one today. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, somebody's watching this like really old uh uh video on the internet of um this like weird pirate game and there's like a lot of screaming and stuff that's going on. Yeah, um, there's just a really super salty little boy yeah. crying constantly. Yeah, definitely. And uh, he's wearing this white. He's wearing this white hoodie. You just rip it off of him. Yeah. Whoosh. Thanks. Hey! I said thanks very much. That's mine. I put the 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 fucking pencil shiv that I have <laughs> up to his throat. Can I take this uh, those cargo pants you got there? They'll be useful for me too. Give me an intimidation plus your charisma or reputation. Charisma it is. 19. 19, wow. 19's in the chat. Oh, yeah. He just, okay, okay, okay. He's, like, looking down at the pencil. He, like, takes his cargo pants off. You just leave him in his underpants. Yeah, that's what I thought. I put them on. Nice boots. He looks at you. He's sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he gives you the boots too. <laughs> and then I, uh, like, okay. I think the camera. You, we don't even see you like putting the boots on. We just see you walking away from the camera with the boots on. <laughs> and then, uh, I grab the bag with the sticky bombs in. What are they? Sticky. Yeah, they have like a. They have a sticky side sticky to them. Ball. These these little discs. Okay. And, have you uh, ever seen those like tap lights? You know that like you'll see like in a in a like in an Uber or something. They'll have like those tap lights. They're just like these cylindrical lights. They'll put like on the ceiling. You push them and they will light up. They kind of look like that. It's just a bag of them. How many in there roughly? Or it's four of them. Whole, four. Um, do I feel like I need all four of them for this job? Make me a logic check plus explosives. <laughs> 
Must it be logic? <laughs> yes, it must. <laughs> uh, I feel like I intuitively know how to use. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't. <laughs> uh, I actually, ironically, don't really know much about explosives. I'll see if I can do some better with it. It's with not ironically. Life. I think everybody knew that you don't really know that much about <laughs> explosives. <laughs> That's six. a six. <laughs> oh no, you need all these. Yeah, you definitely need them all. Can can am I in the room with him? He's at the back of the car. You hear some kid yelling, and you see this like naked kid like trying to cover himself up. Basically, as Irish walks away. Damn it. Okay. But he's at the back of the car. He's about to go into the next car. Oh, so we're still in the same car. Yeah. Irish, you got a plan? Yeah. I walk over and I look in the bag. How many, how many, what did they give you? I got four of these here, sticky bombs. How many are you going to use? Four of them. Yeah, Did you I ask know. how strong they are? Yeah, he said they're not strong. They do a little explosion. Maybe. Not really my thing, but. What if you like start, you know how like with salt, you start with a little less and you can always add more? Like, what if you start with, like... Like, start with, like, two bombs, and then see how that goes? It won't work. What are you talking about? Like, just unscrew the cap and pour it all on. Um, okay, I mean, you're the bomb expert, so... Do you want me to use two or four? I would prefer you use two, because I don't want... I don't want the judges to come over here, because... They think it's like an attack of some kind. Okay. I'll use two. I wanted to keep one anyway. Yeah, keep the other Keep the other two. We could maybe use it for something. Oh, I got something in mind. Okay. I like. Good luck. <laughs> now, I'm not sure Irish knows which cart to put these on. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, after the break, Irish can roll a logic check to figure it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we will take a break first, everybody, uh, before that happens. And let's see how the, uh, the great train explosion of 2019 goes for these guys i think it's gonna go swimmingly everything will work out just fine especially with irish crawling out onto the train <laughs> and putting these explosives on these grab pads everything will be just fine i'm sure of it um if you guys haven't done so please make sure you follow all these wonderful people head on over to their channels and give them some love Go hit that follow button and uh, make sure you follow this channel and um, turn on notifications. Turn on notifications so that you can find out when our shows go live here on twitch.tv slash table story. But please make sure you follow all these wonderful people. And if you have yourself a Twitch Prime that you haven't used yet, throw that out their way, please. Give them, give them, some, give them some Twitch Prime love. Give, get yourself some emotes. Make it happen. Welcome back, everybody, to Table Story Sector 49. Welcome back. We return... As the group begins to create uh, a bit of mayhem in the uh, in the in the maglev train, we've um, never done that before. Mayhem should be fine. Should be fine. Um, so taskbar, um, are you assisting Will Jambles? What are you doing? I was watching and judging her. <laughs> That's what Classic Lil Taskbar. <laughs> <laughs> what is it this time that you were judging Lil Jambles for? Well, her hacking is um, slow. I mean, I worked as a hacker for years. For years, Lil Jambles, mama. So I'm judging quietly. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, you're staring at Lil Jambles kind of like taking a ridiculously long amount of time to try and, and hack this car. Um, go ahead and give me a give me a perception check, little Jambles. Okay. A 19. Okay. Um, Taskbar is kind of watching you. She's making like little noises here and there. Um, as uh, as 
every time like the little circle comes up on the screen. Yes, Taskbar. Can I can I help you? I just think you may want to upgrade your system. It's not it's not me. It's it's the nine G. Okay. Oh, like you could do better? Would you wanna you wanna give this a go? Back in my day, I would have, but I have been reprogrammed to do medical assistance. Oh, okay. Well, let me just show you this, and I'm going to try to do whatever I can to make it go faster. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Um, give me a... Give me a logic. Do you have electronics? I do. Okay, give me a logic plus your electronics. Unfortunately, you don't get your supercomputer bonus for this. It's a 13. Okay. Um. All right. Uh. You try to download some more RAM. Okay. <laughs> Getting that RAM downloaded. <laughs> Uh, no, um, I think you, um, <laughs> I think you, uh, yeah, I think you, um, you try and do whatever you can to coax as much, uh, out of this computer as much as possible. I couldn't, I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, <laughs> you try and coax as much power out of this computer as you possibly can, but, uh, it doesn't really help anything. The computer doesn't seem to be the problem. It's really just this shitty connection. Maybe if you had access to their uh, to their Wi-Fi setup, maybe you could do something. Maybe they've got some kind of limiter on it, but it's probably something hardware related. Could I try to access the Wi-Fi network and shut it down for everybody but me? <laughs> you can do sure. That Give me a Logic Plus computers. Okay, I really want to get this one. <laughs> a 25 plus. An additional 6, 31. Okay. Uh, this task is harder, but again, you have no problems as this uh, system isn't exactly the um, most, uh, most secure. Um, so guessing the password which happens to be maglev, just with numbers instead of letters for the vowels. Um, mm. you're, <laughs> look at how Very angry sweet. Zagaticus was. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that rage. <laughs> <laughs> that password rage. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, you managed to uh, easily get into their, into their, uh, <laughs> into their setup. And um, you just, you hear like all these voices around like the car, like, Hey, what's going on? You can't play Tetris anymore. You see that taskbar? I'd like to see you do that. You did well. Do you want a star? I could bite you one, but you're the mum, so when you do the shopping, maybe you could buy them and then keep two for the shopping and for the hacking. And Archie needs a star also. Can't tell if you're being condescending. Or do I actually get a star? I don't say anything. <laughs> I just don't say anything. Does it make it go any faster now that I have the Wi-Fi? Definitely. Okay. So do I have control of the front car? It's not that fast. <laughs> but it is faster. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you've, you've made some progress. Uh, basically, you're starting to get access to um, certain functions on the car. The first thing that you get access to is the um, basically the, uh, the security cameras around the train. Okay. Um, you get into the basic security, like all the locks and everything. Um, you've, you've essentially got control of all the locks on the train to start with. 
Okay. Would you let anyone know? Oh, no. Okay. So there's like people cursing all around. Um, and uh, Archie, you head to the back of the train. Are you no. trying to hustle? Yeah, I'm going quick. I'm small so I can get by people pretty quickly. Sure. Why don't you give me either a strength or agility plus running if you've got it? Sure. Twenty-five. Whoa! Twenty-five. Archie's hauling ass. His little legs are zipping around, and uh, he's basically pushing people out of the way, whatever it takes to get through. Um, Archie's moving quick. Um, doesn't take you that long to get to the end car. It's probably about the size of your average bullet train, so I don't know how many cars are in that. Maybe something like 15? Something along those lines? Um, but, uh, you're, you're moving pretty fast. Um, you get through all the cars. You, you, I mean, you, you whiz past, uh, Lollipop. And, um, uh, Lollipop, you're, uh, you're sitting there with a small plastic bag full of these, uh, these explosives. What are you doing? <laughs> Got him. <It's> lollipop. <laughs> You did this to yourself. You did this. Um, I am trying to figure out which... If I'm trying to... Well, I, Brad, I'm trying to figure out if Lollipop was able to work out what the fuck his job is in this mission. Sure. He knows he's, play, he knows he's planting explosives somewhere on these maglev things, but he doesn't know, like, the overall goal here. He doesn't understand why you'd okay. want to blow something up and make it small. He doesn't know that it's to stop any backup. From Give me a logic from plus tactics roll then. So, okay. Let's just see. I mean, he might know. We'll see. No luck die. Six. A six. Oh, don't worry, Lollipop. You know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do. You know exactly what's going on. You need exactly to put what's going on. you need to put all these explosives on one grav pad and that will be the best way to knock this train off course. She doesn't know better. She's stupid. All right. Um which grav and pad? Whichever one you think is best. It doesn't matter as long as you put them on a grav pad, you're good. The one closest to me. Which car? Which car are we on? You guys are in the front car at this point. Oh, they got damn lucky because I would have put it on if we were in like the fifth car. I'd just put it on the one between five and six. All right, well, that's lucky because I walked to the ones that probably are supposed to be on, right? Okay, so you walk to just the very next cart, and uh, how are you doing this? Uh, they're all sticky, yeah. Yeah. Man, I wish I had a fucking rocket launcher. <laughs> I, this is Irish talking. He's just saying this as he's walking along the train. Me saying it, and I wish I had a rocket launcher. Um, I would like to... Yeah, I mean, I'll just... The thing is, I'm just going to open the bag. I'm just going to fucking... Can I get to them? Or are they like... Do I have to fucking... How do I get out of this fucking place? Um, yeah, there's probably like a like a door uh, in the transition between the car and in between the cars, you know, to like get some kind of like access to the outside of the train. And I can get outside. It's not like it's covered or whatever. Or you can try and open like the main door that, you know, where you guys entered the, the car from. Main door. Okay, you walk up to the main, the like the main entrance, basically. You know, there's there's two there's a door on either side. You know, to get on, depending on which way the the train's going. Yeah, I'm gonna try and open it. Okay, you just try and brute force it. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and give me a uh, give me a strength check. Uh, All right. Why doesn't this open? 
Give me a strength check plus tactics. Oh. I need the uh, Final Fantasy VIII trained <laughs> scene. <laughs> what I'm about to do. I remember that when I first did that on the PC, none of the buttons matched up to the actual buttons on the controller. <laughs> so that was the worst. <laughs> Push B4. I'm like, it's not B4. It's not. It's and not the working. That whole thing as well, because the, there's like no save, right? You go back like for about yeah. six hours of cutscene. Um, 15. Okay. You are dead. <laughs> um, so, uh, Irish, you, uh, lollipop, lollipoperish, um, you, uh, I think you just kind of put a foot up, like, on the back of, you know, the chair, like, the, the seat, you know, and just kind of, like, put your hands on the door and just... Yeah. The door opens. Whoosh. Now, you guys are in, like, a... There's, like, a... There's a tunnel. But, but this, it's going so fast. You see, like, all these pillars. I'm not expecting that because I've never... There's so much, like, wind that just starts blowing into the cart. <laughs> you try and close it? No, I'm going out. Oh, you're going out that way. Okay. Yeah, you, there's people all around in the car like, What are you doing? Are you crazy? Like, what? People screaming. Hey, don't worry. Why did you open the door? Be... Hold on to something. Ah! There's people screaming. There's people like that are like, you know, immediately behind the door that are just like, ah! And they're like hanging on to the back of their chairs. Um, yeah, and you're just... Like hoodie <laughs> up. <laughs> and then uh, I just uh, a pen, the shiv pencil in my mouth, you know, ah, just going out, <laughs> climbing, like the bag across my back or whatever, and I'm just I'm fucking like, I'm gonna billy it out there. If only you had the climbing skill. <laughs> I don't need it. I do everything with brute strength. This is the thing. I've climbed a mountain before. If you're super strong like me in real life, then you'd be able to climb a train, <laughs> going 300 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Irish. Oh, this could go really badly, folks. Um, it's not really set up properly yet, but I think I can change my lights to red. There we go. That's better. Since I'm about to die. All right. All right, Irish. Um, <clears throat> you start to try and basically grab like the nearest window to to haul yourself I'm onto the outside. Out to the yeah, to the best of my ability. Okay. All right, yeah, it's not that far, but you do need to get a better angle probably to try and, like, throw this onto the grab pad. Um, so you're going to have to, like, go to the outside of the train to do this. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm fully expecting okay. to happen to do. Okay. Along the outside. All right, uh, go ahead and give Irish, me this. Irish is, is, like, and he is supposed to be, like, what was that fucking movie with... Um, where he shot the chicken with the bow and arrow. Shot the chicken. What the hell Rambo. was that? Are you a, it's like a Rambo movie? It's the Rambo ripoff. The, the oh, slapstick. Yeah, yeah, hot shots. Hot, hot shots. shots part de. <laughs> Where it's like he's like a um, slapstick version of Rambo, right? Yeah. That is what Irish is. Because I literally made him to be an action star, but he can't ever be, obviously. But he can still try and pull this shit off. And when he does, he looks like an action star. And when he doesn't, he'll probably die. So, I mean, that's what I'm doing. You know? Okay. Please give me Irish a strength check. whatever his name was from fucking Hot Shots. That's what he looks like in my head cannon, kind of. With a giant head now. He's a 90s action star. Rip off. Strength, yeah? Yep. If you had the climbing skill, you could add oh that. A 12! It's actually not that bad. Okay, thank God. Uh, I see the one as well. I'm a streamer too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, Irish, this is not as easy as you thought it would be. Um, climbing out onto the uh, the train car that's uh, going 300 miles an hour, um, your face is basically. Like, <laughs> Okay, we can do this. 
Come on. And you're like <laughs> pulling into the to the window and yeah, yeah. It, yeah, your eyes are basically like popping out from your eyelids flapping on your eyes. Um, oh, yeah. it's it's fucking savage out here. Um, but luckily I rolled an eight, so um you're okay. Uh as you climb to the window, you basically like cling to the window and like looking inside, you see all these people like freaking out that the doors open, you know, inside the car where you just came from. People are screaming, Oh my god, we're gonna die like screaming their heads off as you you just Pull yourself to the first window. Down below, you can see there is this weird, like, glowing pad thing. It has a ring, like, a, it looks like a, a glowing um, ring light that's just down near the sort of undercarriage of the train. I would like to put a sticky bomb on it. You can try and climb down there to place one on there or you can try and throw one which would you like to do climb down okay give me another strength yeah, check but <laughs> 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 both suck but uh, Irish would climb down and put it on himself so oh days. my god <laughs> channeling Johnny this week he's not here Wow, I sh I'm like not I like I thought. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> like as soon as you open the door, I was like, oh, you're dead. Yeah. Um, wow, that's well, super good. Did. I'm shocked. I mean, I've still got it three more times, I assume, um, and the climb over. Okay, so you 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 now have got your hands, and you're just kind of like dangling from the window. Like your body's basically horizontal, but you have like one arm, you know, with the with the explosive pad in it. You know, and the other the other one's like clinging to the window. Your left hand is just like this, and you look like Jeremy Clarkson in the in the Adam Car, um, with yeah. your cheeks like ready to wrap around your ears. Um, and uh, you're gonna just kind of place the explosive pad on there. Yeah. Um, I won't make you roll for that since you actually climbed down there and and did it. Um, but I will have you do um, a. Um, a logic plus explosives, please. Yeah, because I don't know how they work. Nine. A nine. There's a one in there, which means it's a fail. Okay. Um, you're trying to, like, look at this pad thing, see if there's any kind of indication of how to do it. Luckily, they've idiot-proofed it for you. Um, because I'm rolling really low, uh, you, uh, you basically just have, like, a, there's just, like, an on and an off button that's just on there. <laughs> <laughs> but on might mean blow up. <laughs> <laughs> on and off. You're just holding up, looking at this thing now, like, wait a minute. <laughs> Does that mean explode or armed? <laughs> I assume you were saying that the nine that I know that it means armed, right? Uh, I think it takes you, like, you're out there for it too, takes long. Way too long. You're yeah. taking it's too long. Like, you're staring at this thing, like, there's like, <laughs> there's that math face that comes on. <laughs> That, that just kind of gets applied to Irish's face. <laughs> and eventually you realize, oh, in the bag, there's a little detonator. All right. Switch it on and then just stick the sticky side on. Pull the little fucking, like, rip the, the <laughs> sticky tape shit off yeah. or whatever it is. And just blah. Just shove it on any bit that looks like it'll stick to. Okay. You're just kind of, like, hanging there with one arm and you just stick it on there. You hear, like, a beep. And it starts to glow like red. Dunk, 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 dunk. Are you putting the others on there too? Um, oh, that's what I thought, wasn't it? That they all need to go on one. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, they're all going on there. Just done. Beep 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 beep. Turn them all on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Give me a strength check to uh, get back in the car. All right. <laughs> Come on, the Johnny. 
Makes it breaks it, my friend. You got fucking lucky. I also rolled a 12, but... I wasn't worried. The spirit of Johnny is with me this week. Um, so, just barely, you, uh, you pull your hand back in, and I mean, like, it's so close, there's probably some pillar or something that, like, rushes past, and you're not even paying attention to it. Like, it's not even in your realm of possibility that you're getting hit by it. And it's, like, the closest margin that this pillar just, like, whizzes past your face and arm, like, as you pull them in. You're not yeah. even, like, looking. Like, you just turn your head, and it's, like... It. never know that it happened. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> just whizzes just, past. And then I close the... I, like, try and jam the door closed a little. Um, and uh, you... you, you just kind of like manage to pull yourself back into the train. You can see that there's somebody that's like trying to like walk up to the door and like try to close it. And you just like, uh, you beat him to the door, like just barely, like you swing yourself in. And he's like, what are you doing? Close the what door. What are you doing? Trying to get me killed. Close the door on me outside. Why did you open the door? Close oh, the door. I needed door. to go outside. I'm Why did it. you go outside? What are you doing? What are you talking about? Say, I, saw, him, I saw him put something oh, on the train. You hear like I'm people yelling. Out. Pushing him out. You're pushing him out? <laughs> uh, as soon as he's like, I saw him. I just grab his face. <laughs> Push him out the train. Give me a... Give me a brawling plus your strength or agility, please. Okay. Fuck that guy. 11. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. Is he bigger than me? No. Oh. But this time I rolled really well. Uh, so, uh, you try to grab him, and he's like, Help! Help! This guy stuck something on the back of the train! He stuck, oh, uh, he stuck something on the train! Oh my god, where did he stick on the train? I don't know! It's glowing! I see right. it! It's red! I run, then, to the other car. Oh my god! Somebody hit the emergency switch! Somebody hit the emergency switch! Oh my god. I don't have anything I can do about this. <laughs> but Jambles... It doesn't matter, because Jambles is controlling the train, right? So, I run to the other car. I'm running to the other yeah, car. Yeah, you run run into the next car. Like, uh, you can see there's like, uh, there's like people standing up. You left the door open. Like this guy was like trying to fight you. There's like somebody yeah, that's yeah, still yeah, trying yeah. to like get to the door and close it. They can deal with that. I'm using that panic to get away from them. But I do want to see if there's anything like a like a pole or you know like when you're on a train there's loads of shit to hold on to. Is there any of those oh, yeah. that are loose or weak enough that I could like fucking get one off? break one i assume you can always try you can always try i mean these things are made to actually you know hold people so uh, yeah i figure probably not no i won't do it then i just wonder if there was anything like that around but if not i'll just run to the other car and i'm gonna close the door behind me or whatever and stand in it so uh here's what i'll do uh roll your luck dice pool for me holy shit Actually, I'm weirdly lucky. I think it's because I'm a human. 17. Jesus Christ! Boy. You rolled yeah, two a sixes. reason I'm still alive. I have a really high luck. I think it's my highest stat. Second so, highest stat. Uh, there is. There's probably just something like... Um, there's a handle or something that's kind of like... Maybe it just it needed to be repaired or something. And it's just kind of loose. I'll whip that off. Ping! As I'm going. Yeah, you rip off like one of those. It's like one of those handles in the center of a, you know, in, in the center of a uh, train car. So you just. Well, my intention with this, by the way, is to get to the other car and then lock our door so no one can come through it. Uh, yeah, okay, you could probably somehow work that you know in there. I mean? like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not 100% sure on how the doors look or what we're dealing with, but that's kind of my plan here. Because they're going to try and come through to our car when the other car explodes or whatever, and I want to make sure they can't follow me or anything. Okay. I don't have yeah, there's weapons, definitely so. like people standing up. Like as soon as as soon as this guy like was yelling like, "Hey, oh my god, this guy is trying to, you know, whatever." Meanwhile, Archie's in the back car. <laughs> Archie. Oh, yeah. You've gone to the back car by now. Yeah. Um, in the in the I guess like in the rear, there's about what you'd see. There's only like three people in this car, um, and uh, there's there's like a security door, um, basically blocking like entrance into this back car. It's probably a smaller car of some sort, 
um, and it it's I, I would say it looks like half the size of, of the other cars um, but it, it has like a door to it yeah, yeah I, I, I try and give it a note and see if I'm lucky enough yeah there's it. like a there's a security pad there no go hmm any keyhole or anything not really a keyhole. There's an electronic no. pad, though. Uh, is anybody, any of the people, any of them like, uh, like one of them people on the train? What do you call them? You know, the ones where they have to do the stuff and check the tickets and all an that. An engineer? A ticket checker? And, uh, yeah, a ticket checker or something. Yeah. A ticket room, one of them. Uh, roll me your luck dice pool. Two, three, and a three gives you an eight. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like that. All right. Well, I guess I'll try and just, uh, try and just get the door open. I'll try and, uh, like, slip something in. And... Ah, conductor. Thank you, joint gifts. Conductor, yeah, one of them. That with the electricity in that. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, it doesn't look like there's anyone back here. Oh, well, I'll just uh, I, I want to see if it's like a like an electric lock or if there's like a bolt that opens up when you press the keypad. There, it looks like there is an electric lock and there's a bolt from what you can tell. Well, right, well, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm just gonna start pushing buttons on the keypad. <laughs> I don't know how. Uh, I'm not good with that stuff. Okie doke. Um, I'll try. One, two, three, four. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and give me a logic check. Uh, you don't have electronics. I guess your best bets here are going to be thievery. Logic plus thievery. Right. It's hard to lock die just in case. Ooh, that's not a good roll. That's a 10 on a 5d6. Ouch. Um, <laughs> uh, you push like you, Ar Archie's not the best with these electric locks. Uh, one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six. It doesn't seem to be responding. It's like, bram, bram, bram. as soon as you enter in the third try, yeah. dun, 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 lockout shows up on the screen all right um is the door got like a window on it uh i think that there is probably a window yeah yeah i'm just gonna see if i can like what well, the, the the rubber stuff to seal around the edge of it and try and like pop it out and then just get in through that way okay are you trying to be stealthy about this uh three people yeah, for now I am. Okay. Um, give me your stealth plus agility first. All right. 16. 16. Okay. Just kind of lean against it and just... Okay, nobody seems to notice from what you're doing. You're being pretty quiet about the whole thing. Um, and... Now give me um, give me an agility plus your thievery. That's Twenty-eight bad. with three sixes in there. Okay, so luckily for you, whoever built this train was not ultra worried about the security, and you managed to detach the seal off of the uh, window. Yeah, There's like a, just like a little pop, and you can see that the glass, basically, it's thick glass, but you you sort of jimmy it out of the um, out of the the hole for the glass. Yeah, I just set it down, and then I'm gonna slip through. See if I can find. Okay. The, the, the so button. there's two doors. Okay, because it's it's a train car, so you right. get through the first one. Okay. I just try the second one. See if that's unlocked. Roll me your luck dice pool. Because why would you lock both doors? Ten. Luckily for you, it is in fact open. Yeah, all right. 
There was a six in there, which is why I let that happen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Uh, in there, and I'm looking for the the detaching stuff. Okay. Um, it's not really complicated. There's there's really not much else in here. There's probably like um, power. I think there's probably some like um, uh, you know the 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 uh, the maglev uh, like basic power that runs yeah. through here. Um, the actual maglev stuff is probably charged like every time the train stops um, in uh, Gray Rock and probably like Luna One or any of the other you know end points to this uh, oh. to this line. But yeah, there's power and there's basically the the, the detachment thing. There's a screen, um, and you can see like a a little facsimile of the train, basically like a little representation of the train on the screen. Right. Yeah, I'm just going to pull all the detached stuff, just all of it, because I don't know what one it is. Okay. And then, but the way I'm going to do it is, I'm going to like put my hand on them and like face the door because I want to start running right away. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to. I pull them all, I flip them all down, and then just start running. I'm going to jump through the window and then run back up so I don't get left behind. Okay, give me an agility plus your acrobatics, please. 23. 23. Um, you do like a tuck and roll when you hit the other side. Like You like dive through like a swimmer yeah, going off the one. high dive. In the beginning of the Matrix when she goes through a little window. Yep. You smash right through, and uh, you just kind of roll to the other side. The in You feel like this thunk across the whole train. We see Johnny in the bathroom, and he's like, Whoa, that was a big one. <laughs> and then it just cuts back to uh, Mama. Um, Mama, you've, uh, you've unlocked the security, and now you've gotten to the point where... Um, you're starting to gain control of the train's uh, speed controls. Okay. Um, so do I have control of, like, the front car completely or only the speed? You've got control of the speed, but if you the, the car is detached, you should be fine. Okay. Is um, our Ace and Doobie in the car with us? Ace and Doobie... Are doing something uh, in the car. Um, they're actually. It looks like they are. Um, it look like Doobie has a, a uh, like a big duffel bag, and um, Ace is underneath one of the seats. What, what do you guys? I, I walk over with my laptop because I want to tell them that I have stuff now. Doobie but... starts kicking Ace. He's like, why? Ace! Ace! What are you guys doing over here? Also, why are we doing everything and you guys are just creeping out over here with your duffel bag? That's none of your business! It's my business because I'm helping you do this. Otherwise, I'm going to abort the whole plan. And you won't be able to do what you, you want to do. You ain't aborting so... nothing! I wind my leg up to kick Doobie. Okay. Swear to God, Doobie. Give me a I perception check. A 12. Okay. Okay. Uh, you just now notice that Doobie, his arm is kind of, he's wearing like, um, like a canvas jacket. Okay. He's got one of his arms out from the actual, um, you know, out from the arm in the jacket. And underneath the jacket, you can see he's got a spit pistol trained on you. I'll put my foot down. So is this, this is the way we're going to do things. Is that what I'm to understand here? He's, Just do your job. No, you can shoot me. But you still won't have control of the train. I hit a button on my thing and cancel it. You Looks like we don't have control of the train anymore. Okay. I walk, I walk away from him. Hey! Hey! Ace! Ace! And, uh... Yeah, um... They take a minute 
Um, and they're doing something underneath this, underneath one of these, uh, one of these uh, chairs. And uh, Ace like gets up off the ground, and uh, it's at this point that like Irish like dashes into this car. You see him like he rips off one of the handles and just kind of jams it in the door. It, did it go well? I'm like gonna try and bend the fucking thing and then just ruin the door so it can't be opened because I assume but, everyone's gonna fucking swarm at us like zombies. Archie's not back yet. Uh, what? Archie's not back yet. You can see there's a bunch of people standing up like in the next car that are just like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do everything in my power to stop this door from ever opening again because they're gonna fucking kill us all. I've been in one fucking stampede and I almost died. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. Um, Irish, these guys are up to some shady shit. What? Who's Archie? Who's what? You mean up to shady shit? With the food. He wants all the hotties all the time. That's Archie. He's he's doing the thing on the back of the train. These two, <laughs> and I point at Doobie and Ace. But he's got a gun on me. And they're doing weird things under the stool or under the chair, and I canceled Seriously. the control of the front train because I don't hey, like. That's your only job. I can do it, but they're not being honest with us. Archie they are acting shady. Archie and Doobie like start to come up uh, from behind you guys, basically, um, and uh, uh, Ace, rather Ace and Doobie, I should say. Uh, Archie's hauling ass across the train. You guys all feel the train sort of do like a thunk kind of motion, by the way. It, like, dips for a second. I think actually has decoupled the train. We, uh, uh. So I'm gonna get the process started back on the laptop, but just have them, nobody knows that it's, like, Uh, happening. okay. Give me, um, do you have the stealth skill? No. Okay. <laughs> Give me an agility plus your computers, please. I don't think I have agility. Either. Yeah, you do. Oh, I do I? Of course, oh, everyone oh, does. Sorry. It's a stat. I, I, was, I was looking at my skills. Okay, so computer plus agility. Yeah, and let me just read your... Uh... Yeah, you still get your code monkey um, okay. ability. A 19 on a 66 plus an additional 7 puts it at a 26. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, nobody seems to notice you doing this. Um, you just... Basically, you've set it up so you just kind of have to hit a button to return control to yourself. Um, and Ace and Doobie are, like, right behind you. And Ace says... Now, look here. You gotta make sure that this train's under control. We had our own job to do here today. What was it? I feel like we were on. We did stuff for you that wasn't pleasant. What What are you doing? We got our own job to do for the Sundance Gang. You can see he kind of like hands over the duffel bag to Doobie. Doobie just like grabs it. He's like holding it like this, and he says, <laughs> "Now, you gain an entrance into the Sundance Gang. And it should be enough. You don't have to know everything." You'll be fine. How do I know you're not going to screw us over? Because it kind of feels like you might screw us over at the drop of a hat, so... Well, I can't make no promises. But I will tell you that, uh... If you pull this off, like it looks like you're going to do, you get yourself entrance into the Sundance Gang. That'll open up all kinds of opportunities for you. Listen, you impress Preacher Jackson. He'll set you up real good. You won't have to worry about bunk beds or kitchens or whatever. So it's just Irish and Taskbar in here, and then Johnny's in the bathroom right now. Yeah. And I'm at the window like... Open the door. I'm gonna let Archie in. Oh no, you, Archie like, has Archie, give me another running oh, check. Okay. A running plus agility or strength. 
23. Okay, you've just now made it onto the cart that has the open door, like the second car. Um, and uh, everybody's like, people are standing up in their seat. You, you're feeling this crazy wind as soon as you open up the car. Um, and uh, it's 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 crazy. People are standing up. There's a guy that's like over trying to close an open door. Yeah, I'm running straight past them trying to get to the front one. Yeah, as soon as you get to like the area with the open door, you gotta like like try and run past the wind, push past the people. There's people that are at the door right now, and they're just kind of like hitting the window, slamming slamming on the window. It's loud as hell in here too. Out of the way. Out of the way. Um. Between them. Okay. Give me an agility check. Plus. I've got a very particular set of skills. I guess this would be acrobatics. Because they're trying to get through everybody. Yeah, 22. 22. Okay. Uh, open that door. Open that way. Um, okay, so you get, like, right behind the one guy that's, like, right against the door, like, pounding away. Like, what the hell did you do? What did you do out on the train? Like, you hear some people saying, it's got to be an explosive. There's got to be an explosive out on the train. Well, it's explosive. What are you standing around here for? We're trying to get through. It's locked. But, but you're standing right where it's... And they said, I'm stupid. I, I move out. I'm trying to half the out. car has gone the other way, right? Like, there's people that are trying to get into the front. But half the car has gone into the other way. Um, as you're sort of, like, saying this, more people are trying to go, like, the back way. Like, they're trying to go to the oh, next car. Yeah. So um, there's, um, there's like, three people that are trying to, like, break through to the front of the car. Yeah. Oh, no. Why can't why you open the door? It Come won't on. open. It's closed. Oh, it's closed because you haven't opened it yet. It's mate. locked. It's jammed up. There's something on the other side. Well, let me have a look. He, he lets you through. I'm an engineer or something. Oh. <clears throat> I have to go up to the window. And I detonate. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, do any of them see any of the Irish hits the button. Beep. <laughs> um, the cars have still not been manually detached. Irish hits the button. <laughs> the decouple has started, but you have to like finish with the manual lever because the the it's basically like an S, right? And they've yeah. kind of like gone like this, and then they have to be like fully decoupled manually. Just um, explosion <laughs> smash the window so I can just climb through. Uh, not, I'm shooting it out with my pistol. Okay. So what I'd like to happen is, uh, please roll me an initiative roll, please, Archie. Oh. And I will roll one on my end as well. Sounds like you're rolling more dust than I am. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like more. Uh, I'm adding a lot die. My last one, 13. 11, 17. Okay. <laughs> The train gets rocked. You guys all go flying. And I'd like everybody to make an agility plus acrobatics if you've got it. If you have something that might be able to give you some kind of... Uh, allow you to land safely in this situation, you might be, you can roll that. 23. 12. 11. I just need to confirm what Foresight does, so I'm just going to quickly... Foresight, okay. Um, yeah, I will allow you to roll me a Logic plus Foresight uh, taskbar. Okay. Twenty-four! Beep boop, one, two, three. Um, allows you to... You have known Irish Lollipop for a little while now. And you just kind of understand the way that his mind works at this point. And the fact that he's always going to push the button at the worst possible time. 
Uh, so you have sort of braced yourself probably before Irish pushes the button, um, which basically allows you to avoid having to roll this agility check. Um, <clears throat> you saw everything going wrong before it happened, and you just kind of it's, braced yourself in a... didn't say anything. Yeah, you braced yourself yeah. in a chair. It makes total sense. Uh, Irish and Little Jambles, please go ahead and roll me a 2d6. Ah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> okay. Eight. An eight from Irish. And a seven from Little Jambles. You, Irish, you take eight damage as you're tossed around the fucking train. Little Jambles, you take seven damage as you're tossed around the train. Basically ah. smashed. The windows on that side of the car near the, uh, near the back shatter out. Wind. Starts blasting in um, from the from this uh, uh, oxygen tunnel, basically that's connecting the the oxygen domes, and um, part of the second car just gets fucking shattered. Uh, Archie, you see, basically like uh, the metal gets all twisted and blown off. Shrapnel launches everywhere. Archie, roll me a one d six. You take six damage, unfortunately. Six bits of shrapnel. Yeah, the shrapnel and stuff kind of... Uh, you get out of the way, basically, of the blast. Maybe you see him, like, hold up the detonator, and you just, oh, shit! And you just try to dodge out of the way, but shrapnel, it's kind of going all over. It's going everywhere. Yeah, well, I'm trying... I, I, I'll do it later. I'm just trying to get on that the, other car. The 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 front right portion of the the train, that section of windows, gone. The metal's all like blown uh, inwards, uh, and there's people down in the car. So uh, Archie, roll me a three d six. All right. Fourteen. Okay. So the car had a lot of people in it. You saw a bunch of them exit out the back. Um, so 14 people survived. Uh, please roll me a 1d6 now. Five. Five people that were nearby basically just got eviscerated by shrapnel. How, how is it looking? How is that the car in front? Did they get damaged though? Is there like a hole or a bit that I can get in? The windows are shattered in the car in the front. This car is now... It's jouncing up and down, basically. Like, the other grab pads are trying to compensate for this. And the train is kind of, like, wiggling, like, a little bit. Like, all of the reverberations are kind of sending it, uh, you know, cascading all over the place. I'll step back a bit, and then I'm going to take a run and just jump. And I'm going to jump through onto the other one. Okay. Uh, I will tell you, this will be a yeah. really difficult roll. Oh, will it? I thought, yeah. but it's quite close, isn't it? I thought. It is. The train's going 300 miles an hour, though. I will do anything in my power to absorb my Actually, last, die, to be my fair. Last 2 HP to impair this in any way. <laughs> <laughs> you all like it. Justification. <laughs> I think they're coming through that door like zombies, and I won't let any of them come through. And I don't <laughs> As soon as I've fucking thrown around this thing, I just want to get up at that door and just be like, make sure no one's coming through. <laughs> well, I will, well, if it's easier for me to get through the door, I'm just going to get through the door. But whatever he's coming through, I no mean, one's getting he's, through this He's lodged door. a piece of metal on the other side. You can't open the uh, door. Right, I'd, I'll just shut out the glass then and then climb through. You're going to climb through? Yeah, yeah, I'll just shut out the glass with my gun. Or smash oh, it oh, oh. you're gonna it. you're gonna shoot yeah. out the glass through the middle there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then just and then just climb through that. Okay, give me good. an attack roll with your pistol. Twenty-three. Give me some damage. Nine damage. The spit pistol just takes a second to kick on, basically. 
you guys are on the other side of the glass, like just getting s sprawled out across the train, and bullets yeah, shatter the glass. The yeah, cars are jouncing and like all over the place. Yeah, now I'm going to climb through. Even if it's not like like properly broken, I don't care. I've got a few scratches. I don't want to get left behind. So okay. Go ahead and give me an agility Oops. plus acrobatics, please. Can oh. I be push pushing him back out? <laughs> what are you Stop doing? Any, so, uh, Irish, uh, you're lo lollipop, you, you're, you mm, give me a... I lean out and manually uncouple the car. <laughs> to stop these you... zombies from coming through. <laughs> you, you got... <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when Zagatica says he can't die. Uh, Brad, <laughs> Brad, Brad metas anything he can into making it happen. Um, so, uh, what I'd like then, Irish, is if, if you think that you would actually try and do these things. Uh... For sure, I would. But would Irish remember? Because you didn't remember where to put the bombs. And it yeah, Irish would bomb. remember. Uh, yeah, Irish... to make sure no one comes through. The whole point is that this both guy's... Of you, both of you man. roll me an initiative. Trying to keep Mama safe. Also, <laughs> <laughs> can I, um, ask a question? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It literally just left my brain. <laughs> oh no! Um, what am I oh. doing? <laughs> so you know how you said it had to be manually un. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no! The oh, gods no! are me today. Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, well, finish I your thought for my acrobatics getting through. So you've, fin you've got to try and grab me. I'm finish, sorry. finish your thought there, uh, little, little jambled mama. Um. So <laughs> you know how you have to like. Uh, unlatch it with the manual thing, uh -huh. like you're saying for the cars. Can I do that with a, like? Can I override it through the computer or no? Oh no no no! It's just it's a manual release. You can't. Okay, so I can't yeah. do anything. Okay. Yeah, like they do the electronic. He he did the electronic stuff as much as possible, but the it's still latched there. It's probably for safety's sake or something. Okay. There's probably some kind of. It's like a double check. Okay, I wanted to see if I could help that. Okay. Um, okay, so, uh, Archie, before you're able to kind of, like, right yourself after you've shot the spit pistol, you see, uh, Irish lollipop, uh, sort of, like, rush up to the... Covered in wounds. Yeah, rush up to the, to the, to the glass that you shot World out. War, like, uh, classic, like, ringing in ears after explosion, blurred vision. Because, can't uh... See, trying to come through, can't hear anything. <laughs> oh, God, give me an end. A anybody that, anybody that's uh, oh, listening to the MP3, oh. Irish on his initiative rolled a 14. Archie on a 3d6 rolled a 3. That's three ones. I want to uncouple the cart, lean out. Grab the thing. What is it? Like you said it was like a... Yeah, it's like a handle. Classic um, handle thing. So you, oh, you've... you've Lock, like one hand on Archie's face. <laughs> <laughs> you smash the window. Up, yeah, no, you stole me, a young couple in here. Which one? Wait, did he smash the window out or not? He sm he, yeah. he he shot the window out. Oh yeah, I'm leaning out and uncoupling it then. Okay, um, give me a strength check, please, uh, lollipop, uh, plus tactics. Uh, did it go? Where is it? I don't see it. I'll try it again, but I'm pretty sure I rolled it. Yeah, Maybe you didn't hit the pop-up? I did. Thanks, roll 20. Shall I just try rolling? Just try and refresh. I, I can almost guarantee there's like a window up someplace that you're missing. Did you see that one? Nope. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Okay. Did they all come through? No, we just got one. One game, one game through. Okay. Uh, Which one came through for you? The fifteen. 15. On a string. For fuck's sake! Okay. Was that the first one? I don't know. I don't know. Roll strength plus tactics. 
p.m. Okay, go. Okay. I'll take the 15. So there was one that was a 26 in there before I, <laughs> before I refresh, but I see the 15 as well. How is it going to be? It's it's not possible that you got a 26 because you rolled. Oh, it's a four. It's a 4d6. Oh, uh, maybe it wasn't a 26. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely thought it twenty six. I saw something that looked like a twenty six when I was hitting uh, refresh. Okay, so lollipop leans out the window, Ka-chunk. decouples the cart. Yeah, I'm scrambling through over the top of them. Then <laughs> there's no room. <laughs> 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 I rolled a twenty five, mate. Um, that tiny. What are you, a pixie? I'm completely in the window. He's, filling he's in the window. Um, so. Uh, I'm on to you then. So here's 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 what we're gonna say. Um, you cannot get through that window. All right. Then I'm just gonna grab onto his uh, hoodie then. Can't move through a space where there's a, an enemy. You can definitely grab onto his hoodie. Yeah, I'm grabbing onto him. <laughs> I'm not move. Let me in. So the train car decouples. Junk. Iris, you start to get, like, pulled out of the window a little bit. Ugh! You feel the glass, like, cutting into your, like, chest. Ow! You're, you can feel, like... Pull me in! The, Irish, roll your luck dice pool for me, please. Roll good. No, because this is both of us now. What is this for? Can I ask or not? And You can and ask. <laughs> Goodbye, I'm not going to get an answer. Okay. I will say that this involves your other nipple. Do I want it to be higher or lower? Higher. Oh. Nine. There's a one in there. <laughs> you can feel the glass start to cut into your good nipple. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what? My good nipple. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, no. Can I help? Uh, I'll grab the back of Irish's hoodie. Try pulling Archie. Out. Starts to get like, uh, you start Wait, to feel but, yourself. Oh, yeah. You start to feel yourself get like pulled out from the other from the other car, as the uh, the other train now without the front support and that one grav pad. It's like shooting sparks and stuff up from the from the uh, from the ground. And Taspar, you're trying to help them. Trying to pull them back in. Irish, what are you doing? While Screaming this is going. at Taspar to grab my butt. <laughs> grab my butt! I grab specifically it. grabbed his hoodie. For fuck's sake, Taskbar. All right, I'm trying to take my hoodie off then. You some kind of pervert. Like... I take my hoodie off. I, I'm going to run over and grab Irish's legs. Okay. Um, this is the most awkward scene ever. Uh, Taskbar, a.k.a. Beep Boop 123. Uh, why don't you go ahead and give me a strength check? Plus rescue. <laughs> uh, I'm just seeing if I have anything that will also help for me. Um, but I don't think so. I'm really heavy. Yeah, that might help. A nine. Okay. And uh, little Jambles is trying to grab the legs. Taskbar, where were you grabbing? I was grabbing, like, the back of his hoodie, like, here. Okay. Sure. Uh, alrighty. Uh, Mama, if you could be so kind as to roll me a strength check. Can I use Hardy with it? <laughs> I don't think so. Unfortunately not. <laughs> Please. Okay. Um, just a strain. Okay, this is... I'm going to use a luck die. Oh, yeah. I meant two. A 12. That okay. exploded. That luck die. You put it in the modifier. Oh, my bad. Uh, okay, so sorry. roll roll a 1d6 with an exclamation on the end. Okay. So 17. Um, all righty. And uh, Irish, go ahead and give me a uh, strength check. Oh, what? That's a six. My, my luck died to it, but it wouldn't give me the option. Yeah, it doesn't frustrate that. You can still roll, roll me a 1d6 exploding. Oh. Uh, exclamation. 1d6 exclamation. I had wanted to, but I went for the thing. Oh. You can do yours as well. Okay. Not a 3d6, a 1d6. I can't use all three of them. You're using all three luck dice? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
What do you think that for? <laughs> okay. That's a 13 for Irish. Okay. A uh, taskbar with a total of 18. Um, <laughs> manages to keep your hoodie on uh, as Archie. You're just dangling out the the side, basically. You guys are holding on to Irish's uh, uh, hoodie. Let go. You're going to rip me nipple off. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end the episode today. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop ending it at these points where you get to Deus whacking a Zakarkus's fucking character and kill him <laughs> like a real man. Come on! <laughs> kill him like he deserves on these shitty rolls. <laughs> I used all my luck, Ty. You're the one that rolled shitty. He rolled really well. No. He rolled a 25. He rolled oh, wow. bad on his in initiative. Yeah. Yeah, that just means I get Which to go second. Man. Yeah, you, you get to go second. That's all. All right. Well, I hate Taskbar even more than I did before now. <laughs> That's not my name, so. Not, but you hate uh, Taskbar. Do you hate beep, boop, boop. Beep, boop, one, two, three. One. I have a new identity. And now I'm going to lose my other nipple. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Fucking traitor. Would I, but would you be able to tell who was holding you from behind? You can't see. Your whole body's in the window. Oh, I can tell. Those creepy fucking fingertips. That's true. <laughs> I probably don't have them with me. They weren't allowed on the on the transport ship. Oh. Wait, so she has no fingertips. That should be a disadvantage roll <laughs> to hold on to. I any... have fingers. I just don't have human fingers on them. Brad has never never meted so hard in any game ever. <laughs> I can't happened. see this. I can't see or hear anything. <laughs> <laughs> Exploded. My head around. Do you want to roll survival next, Brad? Is that what you want to do? I want to roll uh, whatever kills the car because it's character. <laughs> whatever that is. That's uh, where I'm at. So why don't we go around the room? Let's do some shout outs and whatnot to wrap things up here. Um, but if you guys haven't done so and you want to help support Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is to go give some love to our sponsor, Morris. Head on over to patreon.com slash Morris, M O R R U S to go give some love to him and uh, morris.podbean.com which is where you can listen to the mp3 version of this show as well as Crash City which just wrapped recently um, and listen to the wonderful podcast that Morris does on role playing games role playing news goes in depth on various role playing topics so make sure you check that out um, and why don't we start off with some shout outs Zagatagus start us off please Hey everybody, I'm Scorakis. I played Archie, who is a five foot tall mutant, conveniently half the height of a you know previously ten foot tall mutant that, that someone else rolled. I don't think they're salty about it at all though. <laughs> so let's not get concerned about that. Uh, I'm a role player, broadcaster, and podcaster, and Morris, who made this wonderful system and sponsors the show. Um we sat down and recorded the podcast yesterday. And uh, that'll be up tonight for my patrons. For uh, I'm into this level and above, and it'll premiere on Twitch and YouTube on uh, Friday. You guys can hear me and Morris talk about a bunch of things. And then uh, I'll probably be recording this weekend with someone about stuff, and then uh, a bunch of people after that. And I'm just going to continue to keep doing the broad the, the podcast and improve and get better and, and all the rest. I'm really enjoying the process and I'm really grateful to all of you guys who have listened to it. Thank you very much. You can listen to episode one and two, which is OMG Vandy and McQuanus. That, that they're up on YouTube and uh, on my Patreon, patreon.com slash so you can get the audio download. Um, that's open to everyone now. So, thanks very much. Thank you. Tosh? Why do I always have to follow the consequences? It's so good at these, and I'm like, I play video games, and I sit and I eat pies. I've done hundreds of these. I don't eat pies on stream, that's weird. Um, hi, I'm Natasha. I play video games and don't eat pies on stream. So, there's that. Um, I am panicking now, and I forgot what I was going to say. I was going to say things about doing walking vlogs that I haven't done yet. And then, I, I like this this video game, which is not a video game. Okay, why? I don't know. I'm sure this. I'm sorry. Bye. Thank you, Tosh. You're welcome, Wack. Katie. Hi, I'm Katie Peters Plays. I play video games on the internet. 
and I'm here a lot. I'm here Mondays for Sector 49. I'm here Wednesdays for Nocturne. And this Saturday is the premiere of In the Black, where you space things will happen. And I think wax in it, I think. Um, so that's Who cares about that guy? I know, right? <laughs> so um, but come, if you like Little Jambles, come hang out with me on my channel and hang out with me as not Little Jambles. Thank you, Good Katie. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Katie. <laughs> Jay! Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Brad! Probably the real Jay as well, right? Because he's sick. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. I will kill Zakakis next week. I would like to state for the record, by the way, that he challenged us, me, Katie, mm -hmm. Tash, and Jay. Mm -hmm. He said, you can't kill me last week. And then he said it this week at the start of this stream. I will kill him. I did say I said it would take you a while at the very least. Well, it's not taking that long. It should have it should be done by now if it wasn't for the <laughs> parader on our team. You like kids. You were like all for Tucker, so I can't see that it's him. Okay. The oh, yeah, train, you have to use the zombies. And the train has okay. smashed my head around considerably so that I'm down to 2 HP. Okay. Are you really? I'm on black and white vision again. <laughs> Taskbar doesn't know this, so she's not going to help you unless you ask. There's a new dent in the mongoloid helmet. Head I feel like you've been so oxygen deprived from all that wind this week. <laughs> all, of the, all of the damage I took from being shook around and hitting everything was taken to the to the, the cranium of irish like he has no damage to his body from just the, nipples uh, it's only nipples and head and damage that's it um anyway see you next week um for whatever zakakas is gonna play next time it should be fun um hopefully this one's less abrasive um yeah, maybe it could be more like him. irish uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to watch some D and D with me and Wax in it, uh, Wax and Wax Steven, but also there's a lot of Wax, um, then uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Dark Fire at the earlier time, EU kids of 9 p.m. and then the later normal time or whatever of 5 EST, right? Yeah, because there's only four it's hours. Daylight savings time. Kids. So confusing. Um, and we'll see, because that's been a fucking rip-roaring thrill ride of chaos for the last couple of weeks as well. So we'll see. Everything that's been going on in that uh, will continue tomorrow. It's going to be an interesting episode. I have no idea how to even approach it at this point. So see you then. Thank Bye. you, Bradley. Much appreciated. Uh <laughs> I'm Wax Steven, and I have been your DM of Doom. I have dragged the players kicking and screaming through the adventure today. As always, chat, thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. Much love to you. Thank you. Um, thank you for the fan art. We had some more Void Smoker fan art of uh, Mama Jambles <gasps> as Judge. Judge Jambles. Judge awesome. Jambles. Uh, Man, go Judge check it out. Um, that's... He does the law to things. <laughs> <laughs> I like seeing everyone's share Discord. Um, yeah, check it out. Um, and uh, make sure that you uh, come hang out on our Discord as well. If you have not done so, go hang out on the Discord. we got lots of people in there that are looking for uh, groups to role play with. The looking for group channel in there is fairly active. So if you want to come and, and hang out with a bunch of like-minded role players, go check it out. And um, hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow for some Dark Fire. Um, thank you to Brad. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Tosh. Thank you, Zagonicus, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And everybody else, have a wonderful rest of your uh, Monday. Good night, everybody. Peace out. Bye. Hey, dudes. Thank <laughs> you.